vote of confidence sending a whole team after me, but I doubt you're supposed to actually kill me. You know what? I take that back. I'm a little insulted that you think a couple hundred arrows would get the job done. Just looking earlobe you got there. <laughs> well, if it's that important to you. A cat McKee! You are an absolute rogue! Baby, you've got no idea. I shall ask you once more, Sir Knight. Return with us to the palace so there may be an end to this. You really know how to send a guy off, I'll give you that much. Hot damn, ladies. Wish the maid cafes back home had half the fine-looking tail I see right here. I take it from that comment, you truly intend to return to your own realm, Akatsuki the Brave? <laughs> how unfortunate. trying to catch the bouquet? It's okay. Maybe we just roll down those stockings and play doctor. You lecherous bastard. I was wrong to address you as knight. How can you be called such when no man worthy of the title would let tales of this lewd behavior trail in his wake? You don't think stories about whip-brandishing man-hungry maids would catch like wildfire? My orders come from Princess Listy herself. You're not to pass through the other world's gate. I'm to stop you by any means necessary. Her Highness is just gonna have to be disappointed. Ready yourself. Done and done. Bring it on. <laughs> Estimated your gift for catching the fairer sex off guard if you can trounce Valkyrie. Uh, that was a compliment, I'll have you know. I don't dispense them lightly. You will acknowledge your better, Akatsuki! Sorry, Princess. I don't really appreciate having your party gals unleashed on me, no matter what your intentions were. Do you really mean to abandon this world? I've killed a Dark Lord, sweetheart. If ever there was a time to disappear, it's now. I stick around, Garius' pals, his enemies for that matter, will be falling all over themselves for a piece of me. Don't forget, I'm not from around here. I'm on my own when things get ugly. Think about it. The truth is, even if I were free and clear this side of the gate, I've got obligations back home. I don't want you to go. think of to do to stop the waterworks. Kind of what I do. What does not simply steal a kiss from the lips of royalty? Such liberties come dear. Look, I'm not a really complicated guy. Think of me every now and then when I'm gone, and that'll be payment enough. You incorrigible vagabond! 
I'll think of you when I chance to look upon a criminal. Ah, uh, flattery. Really wish I was as good at the fare thee well as you are, babe. But you know my rides here, so I probably better get going. Good riddance, Sakoski. I'd wish you a safe voyage, but I half wish you'll catch your death on the way. Get thee gone. Just so you know, I still mean what I said that day. If you ever need me for anything, call me and I'm there. All I'm asking for is a little good faith. If we have trust, it doesn't matter that we'll be worlds apart. You know that. Hey. I'm always gonna be there for you, okay? She'd mind a friendly squeeze. I mean, come on. Be good. Wakey, wakey. How you feeling? Oh, hey. So you're not all mangled. That's a plus. Okay, first of all, try not to freak. I realize this is probably a situation beyond your understanding, but let's try to stay cool. Then quit looking at me like that! Second of all, this is my house, my world. You're in good hands. Wait, where am I? <laughs> and if I'm in good hands, why am I naked? Side effect of crossing dimensional barriers. Look, more on all that stuff later. What do you say we introduce ourselves? Akatsuki Osawa. Friends call me Akatsuki. In your home world of Alizard, the ladies used to spin yarns about me being some kind of rogue hero or something like that. What's your name? Well, I, um, I guess you can call me me. These guys don't mess around. I've been back just over a day and they're already up our butts. You remember our story, right? Your name's Mio Osawa. You're totally my long-lost little sister. I finally found you. We reunited in Alizard, where I'd been since vanishing from my bedroom when I was a little girl. And after we finally recognized each other, we came back home through the other world gate. Anybody prod you for more information than that, just tell them you've got amnesia. Downcast eyes are the mark of a terrible liar. When you walk into a room, act like you own the place or they'll catch on. Buck up. Try sticking that chest out. The summoning syndrome in you, an overview. While the best minds of three generations have yet to find an explanation for this startling phenomenon, its effects are well documented. Thirty years ago, young people across the globe began disappearing from our world, summoned to dimensions only imagined in the annals of fantasy. Current estimates put the number of summoned in the thousands. These other dimensions contain portals, known as other world gates, through which a summoned can return home, though to date only about half have managed to reach them. Among those who have returned, many have been discovered to possess unique, occult-based fighting techniques acquired while away, techniques infinitely useful in our world. <laughs> Magical abilities, as you might imagine, are especially interesting to us. To help reacclimate those affected by the summoning syndrome, the new United Nations has established an autonomous state where these young people can thrive, guided by cutting-edge science to harness their powers to the greater benefit of humankind. And because
become fine, upstanding members of society, as well as potential heroes. As one of the summons, you have been singled out for the privilege of enrollment into Babel, our state-of-the-art training facility, designed to help you fine-tune the abilities acquired during your time abroad. Welcome, and good huh, luck. Sure, for the privilege of enrollment. More like the privilege of being dragged out of bed at the ass crack of dawn. Oh, and let's not forget being quarantined from everything you know and love. These people. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, brother? Or should I say bro? Okay, not the way to talk if you want to keep our charade under the radar, sis. Uh, about that. I'm reasonably sure from all the testing they've done on me in the past two hours, they're going to realize that I'm not local. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. You gotta understand, in this world, having colossal mangoes isn't a dead giveaway that you're a foreigner. Those are the only things they put! <gasps> Sorry to keep you waiting for so long. There were a couple of irregularities I noticed. <clears throat> Don't freak out, play it cool. Who's first then? Akatsuki Osawa, is that you? Yo, what's up? Give it to me straight. Um, yes, well, you're the picture of hell. Take this file to the room at the end of the hall, and they'll direct you from there. I appreciate it, Doc. You do good work. Miu Osawa? Uh, that's me. Did I not tell you that it'd be okay? Thing is, when you've hopped dimensions, it's normal for their instruments to go a little haywire trying to get a lock on you. They expect wonky results. How can you be so relaxed? Uh no big secret. See, I knew you'd ace the exam, so there was nothing to get tense about. Yeah, thanks, brother. Uh, I mean, thank you, big bro, or whatever it was. Uh I can't do this! Just call me Akatsuki till you get used to it. You'll adjust, I promise. Interesting. True hero? Overlord? Lavish prose indeed. May I ask what the prophecy means, Mr. President? It seems pretty cut and dry to me. Does it? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm no expert, but it sounds like this Akatsuki guy is gonna be the big cheese one day. So it would be accurate to say he's a threat? That's absurd. How do we know any of this is true? Sir? I'm off to greet our new overlord. Every nook and cranny of the school has been infused with a magical barrier. It essentially keeps our students safe by transmuting any physical damage they sustain in battle to mostly low-level biochemical feedback in the brain. Don't get me wrong, it'll still smart like the dickens when you're actually hit. It just won't leave you injured. Your brain won't know the difference, though, so take a big enough wallop and it's possible to die from shock. All right, kiddos, let's gauge your combat skills. Hop to. Pick any weapon you like. Not a bad decision. You gonna take all day or what? I'm good. I got these. If I had a dime for every kid who swaggered in here expecting to wow me with a bare-knuckle brawl, but I'm not gonna try to talk you out of it. Okay, let's get the show on the road. Show me what you got. That's right, you. Please be gentle. I have amnesia. Hold up. shield. Huh. Ah! This mean she passed? I wasn't sure about the rules. Am I allowed to distract my opponent with a decoy barrier while I conjure an attack, or is that cheating? He's not complaining. So, uh, do I get a turn now, or what? I mean, I'll wait. Perhaps you'd be better matched with me. Resident Big Shot, a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Akatsuki Osawa. 
I am Kyo Yahikawa, President of Babel Student Council. So sorry it took me this long to introduce myself. Our apologies for disrupting your day off, sir. Yes, yes. Get this man to the infirmary as swiftly as possible. Why is a faculty member treating this guy like he owns the place? Wish I knew. It takes a pretty tough character to stay at the top in a place like this, though. Just look at him. He knows how good he is. Indeed. But I want to make sure you know it for yourself as well. Take your best shot. You got it. Just remember this idea was yours. What an exceptional game face. Wouldn't want to meet you in a dark alley. For the record, you are aware this is to be a test of skill, not a competition for the title Alpha Male. We just want to take a little survey of your battle prowess. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Akatsuki. You have very good reflexes. You son of a bitch! You trying to drag my sister into this? Let's just say, given your reputation, I doubted she would be in much danger of getting hurt. Indulge me a bit further. I've been led to believe that you scoffed at the idea of brandishing a weapon for this exam. Are your fists so impressive? If so, I'd love to see them make short work of that ice pillar. If you think they can. Dude, seriously? I could shatter a glacier with these things. Hold on, that's not ordinary ice! This thing's full of magical power. It's a trick! If you go at it barehanded, you'll shatter every bone in your body. Don't even think about it! I'm begging you! Oh, I gotcha. Let's say I was able to obliterate your little popsicle here with my bare hands. Then would you leave the girl out of this so we can figure this thing out man to man? Just curious. I think so. Sounds quite reasonable, actually. I'm gonna hold you to that. Warrior from lands unknown, I leave my daughter, flesh of my flesh, to your care. of work you are. With raw talent like that, my friend, it's only a matter of time before we square off properly. It's my pleasure to report that you have passed your entrance exams with flying colors. Welcome to the Babel family. I think you'll make excellent additions. Well, if that's everything, I'll be going now, sir. Yes, thank you. That's everything. sister out of harm's way. I admire that you'd bargain for her safety with your own skin. Let us hope she's worth it. That was pretty reckless. You're lucky you didn't break every single joint in your hand, you know. Hmm? <laughs> A true hero. Well, he'll soon find. His power is mine. Think of it as your reward for a whole day at Babel without letting the cat out of the bag. Better eat up before it gets cold. Enjoy. Thanks. You're such an awesome brother. Warrior from lands unknown, I leave my daughter, flesh of my flesh, to your care. Let not her age nor innocence deceive you. She is the scion of a dark lord. Whether she be slain in turn as her father by man, or lauded as his successor, her destiny is destruction. What's wrong? Thus I implore hey. you. Hello? Uh, sorry, it's nothing. It's gonna get cold, right? Right. Dig in. Uh. I've done what you asked, old man. Just remember, it's me. Don't get mad if things don't pan out the way you hoped. Unknown. 
I leave my daughter, flesh of my flesh, to your care. Tread lightly, rogue hero. My father gave me express permission to slay whosoever presumed to be my guardian if I found them wanting. Fail to measure up, and your head is mine. you stay by me, I can't guarantee your survival. <laughs> Did he sense that darkness? Timothy, <laughs> <laughs> hey, just do it for me, sweet cheeks. And it's gotta be said, Red suits you. Stop! Whatever you're thinking, I want no part of it! Oh, but you're so hot. Play fair. At least give me a name. Wait a second! Uh, He's saying all this in his sleep! Uh, no, 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 no! I'm not that kind of girl! You have to wake up! Don't fight it, you might enjoy yourself. That's not the point! style, but that's pretty low. My kid's sister is dead. get to you. New kids always fascinate the peanut gallery. It's the same everywhere. Stranger in a strange land, people are going to give you the third degree with their eyes. Play it off and eventually they'll let you blend into the background. So should I just sit down anywhere? Park your butt in whatever empty seat you like. Newbie privilege. <laughs> I'm liking the attitude, Bonnie and Clyde. Apparently the rumor mill got it right this time. The two of you are going to be a handful. Rookies always get talked about, sure, but I don't know. My instincts tell me your reputation for beating an instructor's ass is right on the money. And you, not just anybody could send you an endorsement from the student council pres their first time out. You've given yourself a lot to live up to. Blending in? Good luck. I didn't mean to... Look, I'm not trying to make the transition hard for you. I'm just saying B-class your first day is big. Most of us had to claw all the way up from E-class, but it's whatever. <laughs> Nice job buttering us up before you deal out the warning. You gonna tell us a little about yourself, or you prefer we use our imaginations? Uh, my name's Izumi Chigiji. Definitely an acquired taste, but maybe someone you'll come to rely on. Nice to meet ya. Akatsuki Osawa. This is my little sister, Mew. 
I'm very pleased to meet you. If you two wouldn't mind some advice, there's something you should know. Normally it's cool for the noobs to sit anywhere, but how should I put this? You might want to consider parking your butts elsewhere. <gasps> hey, dead guy! I sure hope your ass can settle the tab it just opened by swiping my seat. Out of my way, penis breath. You've got till I get up there to move it or lose it. I did try to warn you. That'd be our resident Neanderthal, Onizuka. He got booted in from A-Class for being a douche nozzle. Hey, I'm talking to you! Looks like somebody needs a breakdown of the unofficial rules! <laughs> well, at least he got a pair. She'll need him on my turn. There ain't no free... Oh, oh dude, you got like a vice grip. He's up! In another life, dude, we've had some fun. See, I have a thing for bullying people, too. Especially ones who get their rocks off acting all boss. You know, the type always thumping their chest like the rest of us are lucky to breathe the same air. <laughs> what do you think? I got the rules down? Or was there something you wanted to add before I crush this empty skull of yours? Stop it! You've made your point! Just let him go! I thought I was going to be the problem child between the two of us. Look at you! Uh, here comes the jerkwad brigade. Who are they? Discipline committee. Just a bunch of chodes who only answer to the student council. This isn't his fault. You saw it. He was provoked. He has a right to defend himself. Don't worry about it, sis. It's good for me. You will take a seat and wait quietly. The executive officers will arrive to discuss the issue with you shortly. Done, Akatsuki. You have very good reflexes. You son of a bitch! You trying to drag my sister into this? Let's just say, given your reputation, I doubted she would be in much danger of getting hurt. I trust you've not waited long. <gasps> no worries. There are worse ways to spend time. I beg your pardon! That chair is not for the likes of you! Kindly remove yourself to a more appropriate spot and we'll discuss the incident that brought you here! Oh, I'm sorry. Am I out of line? I figured since no one was here... It's a chair, right? What's the big deal about sitting on a piece of furniture meant to be sat on? Valid point, but Haruka's argument has nothing to do with furniture design. Right. That chair is reserved. to pick up where we left off yesterday, right? Don't be absurd. To be perfectly honest, I haven't the faintest idea why you're even here. No reason you should, sir. I sent for him. This one is a menace. The discipline committee apprised me of his outburst. It would seem he's having difficulty adjusting to life here without causing mischief. Not that we're unappreciative. But your interference with that student was unnecessary, not to mention inappropriate. Hold on a sec. I put that bully down. You should be thanking me. I am warning you. Your tenure at Babel will be rigorously scrutinized. Don't expect leniency, is that clear? Things will not bode well for you should you step out of line again. Whether you acted in self-defense is not the point. We run a very tight ship here. Those who have contempt for authority, especially students who thumb their noses at members of the student council, will not be afforded mercy. Remember that. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. Or just try to go back in there, I mean. Well, hey, look at that. You lost, little girl? We happen to be in the same class, so no, thank you. My name is Kuza Hajomoto. I'm here to take you to your next period classroom, and I'm also your class representative. 
Must be something, skipping so many grades like that. I do okay. But just so you're aware, the student council officers you get to fight with back there know what they're doing. They make you look like a total beginner. Matter of fact, they're practically mind readers when it comes to their opponents. You don't say. Well, damn. So much for trying to light a fire under their feet, I guess. You must be psychotic. What kind of fire are we talking about? Watch and learn, kid. It's any fun just rubbing two sticks together. You're filling out that suit like a professional, sweetheart. Why are you hiding behind your row? Am I the only girl this doesn't fit? Oh, come on. Just treat it like you're wearing a swimsuit. Nothing wrong with showing off the assets, am I right? If you make a big deal out of this, it'll only draw more attention. So the way to pull this off is to act like it doesn't faze you. Does that really work? I know a little trick to help you relax if you want. I'll pass, thank you. Last night's taste of your relaxation techniques was more than enough. What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Forget I said anything. Just ignore me. <sighs> uh, okay, so they all go in this cage-like thing? Yeah, thanks for the help, by the way. I appreciate it. No problem. Let's finish up and get out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were just so random. Ah, guess that's a word for it. <laughs> I didn't mean to pop the ball. Sometimes I just don't know my own... The two of you finish up a little quieter, please. Sorry. What's the matter? Did you hear that? I think someone else is in here with us. Maybe she's checking her for lice. She's sure thorough as hell. That's a good way to get suspended. There's like a hundred other places you could do this. Get up! Why you gotta be such a killjoy? Jeez. This is against the rules. <laughs> Only against the rules if you get caught. Exactly how many girls have you lured here? P.E. stands for physical education, not personal eatery. <laughs> Chill, I only indulge on dodgeball day. Ugh, I'm out of here! <laughs> Wait, hey, hold the, the door. door! We are totally trapped in here, aren't we? Totally. The fascists who designed this place made it so these stupid doors only open from the outside. I usually wedge a handkerchief in the corner to keep it from closing all the way, but... No sweat. I got this. Hold on. Trapped or not, it is school property. Damage it and I'll murder you. Besides, your biceps aren't our only ticket out of here. Oh, yeah? We'll just have to sit tight till someone else comes in. Lunch will be over soon, so the other reps will have to clean up after their classes. Shouldn't be long. Not much we can do about it, thanks to Lady Romeo here. Don't pin this on me. You could have gone with Don't Ask, Don't Tell. You're not seriously hoping I'll ignore the fact that you treat this room like a truck stop parking lot. Ow, way to twist the knife, loan this rule book. Can't we just call it bad luck? I can't believe you're trying to argue with me about this. <clears throat> oh, wow. Uh, not to sound weird, but I'm sort of jealous of the chemistry you two have. Chemistry? <laughs> Your 
you're shivering. Is it cold in here to you? I'm sorry. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I think somebody needs to pee. Uh-uh. Fine, be that way. But your eyes are turning yellow. It's none of my business, but you really do seem uncomfortable. Drop it, please. If you really have to go that badly, I saw some sandbags in the corner. I'm not good enough with earth magic to make a proper latrine, though. No, that's a great idea. We make a toilet out of dirt. Earth magic is little Miss Squirmy's thing. Boom, bladder issue rectified. Come on, no big deal. We'll stand in the corner with our hands over our ears. It'll be fine. Yeah, might even take you down a few pegs. I'm so loving this idea. Shut up, just forget about it, okay? Okay, look, I was just busting your chops, but I hate to see you like this. If nature's call and answer, lighten up. Makes you feel better, I'll take the blame. There you go. She's accepted full responsibility. You can trust her not to tell anyone. Absolutely. We're all in this together. All for one and one for all. You don't understand. If I try to move from this spot, I'll leave a trail. Not digging on the tears. Well, if you have a solution, we're game. I do, actually, but you may not like it. See, in my book, when a girl's crying, drastic measures are in order. And if you ladies are willing to help me out, I've got just the thing. It's not an elegant fix, though. You still game? That's the spirit. I need you to stand on either side of her. Um, all right. Like this? from the other side, but I did learn one thing. A technique called linked energy manipulation, which I seem to have a knack for. See, basically, it allows me to redirect the energy flowing through your bodies. Uh, uh, oh! Wait, but what's our kidneys bursting got to do with helping her? Uh, Come on, let the good times flow, eh? No need to hold it in. There's no shame if you all have to go. Are you out of your mind? She hasn't punched me in the crotch. Sup, Tanaka? Way to reserve my place. I'd do it myself, but something about waiting brings out the worst in me. Sure. You want to say about it, dickweeds? Sup, <laughs> Onizuka? Thanks for reserving my place. I'd wait myself, but something about lines just brings out the worst in me. <laughs> Yo, Tanaka! Together's new 
She's getting the third degree. The student council tends to frown on people running amok on your watch, you know? <sighs> yep, poor thing's gonna have to answer for the hijinks of a certain door-kicking, bully-baiting, panty-snatching loose cannon who shall remain nameless. I'm pretty sure luring innocent girls into the equipment room was the final straw. But, I mean, that wasn't all her fault. She's gonna get in trouble for that? Sounds like it's kind of eating you. Uh, Don't get me wrong, I'd be pretty twisted if the student council had it in for my big brother. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's really it. This may sound weird, but I think the amnesia makes it hard to see him as a brother. Ah, uh, well, no point in forcing it, I guess. Your memories are bound to come crawling back sooner or later. I wouldn't worry about it. Maybe you just need to be around him a while longer. Yeah, maybe. screws to you? Sorry, but with all due respect, that would be none of your business. Jeez, fine. If there's anything we can say to get you out of this, all you gotta do is ask. What is that? Hmm? You're aware the school bylaws strictly prohibit accessorizing of any kind. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. It's not her fault. I gave that doll to her as a present. Don't be mad. Hey, sometimes a gesture is worth breaking the rules, and she made one for you too, so maybe ease up. I accept the gesture, but not the present. Look, don't take it personally. She'd be that way with Santa Claus. <sighs> oh, this one is delicate. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little girl who woke up in a strange world all alone. After she found her way back, she was dropped into a world just as strange. One where she stood out like a sore thumb. I'm too young to be here anyway. Maybe I ought to call the council's bluff. <laughs> Room for one more? <laughs> So, what'll call off the dogs? Huh? You and me both know the higher-ups have you cornered. I'm not a douche. It's my fault you're in this mess. So let me help you get them off your back. Whatever they want to know about me, you've got it. Free of charge. Look, I'm not an easy target for spying. If you want to reach the carrot they're dangling, I suggest we, uh, you know, come to terms. Humbling thought. Am I that transparent? They expect a report every morning. Your habits, your mood, everything. The carrot is me not getting shipped back to my old school. And? And I'm thinking about telling them exactly where to shove it. Look, don't take it personally. She'd be that way with Santa Claus. Hanging around with a bunch of older kids isn't how I want to grow up anyway. When you get right down to it, I don't belong here. Not a quitter. Don't pack your bags yet. I appreciate you walking home with me. Oh. Easy, love. I enjoy afternoon delight as much as the next gal. But save the come-ons for a better neighborhood, huh? Well, look, silly. Unlikely pairing. That's not gonna end well for her. What is that place? Manga Cafe YY? Couples rooms complete with showers. You think we should go in? You bet I do. This is officially creepy. I'm out. 
You've got a lot of nerve dragging me to a place like this. Get your hands off me. I'm going home. Shut up. People are trying to unwind. Give them a break, huh? <laughs> fit in with the cool kids. This is how it's done. Well, you hear him getting it on or what? Nothing. At least, I don't think so. <gasps> Keep it down. You get too loud and the other guests will get pissy. Stop it! What are you doing? This isn't why we're here! Oh, whatever. You're the one who picked this place out. Relax, eh? I only buy it if you ask. This... This is exactly the kind of thing I meant when I said I didn't belong! Age is just a number, sweetheart. No. No, it's not. Age is... Age is the difference between someone who can take the temperature of the room and someone who can't. Oh, really? Then I'm screwed. Especially since I'm about to do this to you when you're clearly not on board with the whole idea. <sighs> Taking the temperature of the room? If that were true, then adulthood would mean indulging everyone in exactly the kind of passive-aggressive bullshit that keeps them from being able to communicate like adults in the first place. It's not about that. It's about being honest with yourself. I guess if you want to include that in today's report. In fact, just to spice things up a little bit, make me out to be a total jerk. Ugh. I told you I don't want to do that! Lighten up! I was just kidding around. <laughs> yeah, right! What is this all about? Oh, just doing what friends do. Mind telling us what you two are up to in a place like this? Did he touch you, Kuzaha? Just so you know, it's totally okay for you to smack him. It's okay. I'm aware of what it looks like, but all he did was temporarily immobilize me. You bastard! Ugh. She's a little young to be immobilized, don't you think? He'll explain things better than I could, surely. Ugh. I can't believe she has the audacity to be late when we made it expressly clear what was at stake should she treat this assignment lightly. Come on, she's not that late. Let's just cut her some slack. I don't think it's worth getting upset. Fine, we'll determine her punishment later. But as for Akatsuki, there is no slack. I will not stand by and continue letting him make us look like fools! That guy really gets under your skin. It's not the end of the world that he saw your panties. See them? He took them off my... In any event, as of now, I'm referring his case directly to the <sighs> discipline committee. Mr. President, we need to talk to you about this. Uh... All issues relating to Akatsuki Osawa are to be dealt with by me. I trust you have no objections. It's an arms device, or AD for short. When properly equipped, it'll materialize in the form of whatever weapon best suits your situation and aptitude. You can consciously will it to vanish when you're done, or worst case scenario, if you're knocked out, it'll do so automatically. Let me see. Huh, 
Well, that was easy. And how about you? Any luck there? Yeah, not so much. You have to really concentrate. Don't overthink it. This is no different than everyday magic. That doesn't do us a lot of good. Me and magic aren't necessarily best pals. Uh, you know, I am sincerely looking forward to the day when something about you doesn't throw me for a loop. Before we start with your combat training, I want everyone to split off into two groups. If you want to fight as a team, get with one or more of your classmates and hike it to Stadium One. If you feel like going solo, scare up an opponent and stay right where you are. Ah. You know what? I think we might just be the hottest team here. Definitely, if you let me join. <laughs> That's how it's gotta be. You make me look bad and it's your ass. ass. What the hell do you want? You wanna go? Yeah, right, like I just signed up to have my ass handed to me. Say yes or I'll kill you. <laughs> Dude, don't wet yourself. I'm yanking your chain, all right? I can't even use a real AD, you know? <laughs> they stuck me with this piece of crap till we can figure out something less awkward. Magic isn't really my thing. Wait, what? Seriously. Let's dance. All right, today you'll be squaring off with class favorite, the cockatrice. Oh, I hate these things. Is he ever gonna fight something less lame? Is this like their entry level monster? Kinda. At full power, he can turn you to stone, but they've got him turned way down for us. Stay clear of the sharp parts, and you've got this in the bag. Trust me. The class has dealt with them so often, we've got the strategy down pat. If you're a mage type, you go with range attacks. If you're a fighter type, when there's an opening, you strike and run. Mock battle commencing. Show me some spunk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Osawa, Onizuka, you're up. Damn. I was banking on him fighting this thing with his freaking harem before my number got called. Doesn't matter. The bird ain't my only weapon. I could take him out myself. Now remember, the barrier converts any physical injury to low-level biofeedback signals that mimic emotional distress in your amygdala. Enough damage will cause you to pass out, so focus on economy of movement. Let's do it. Keep it clean, guys. <laughs> oh man, that was too easy. Obviously, Onizuka here thought his best chance to win was by starting his spell before I gave the okay to begin, right? Hey, in the real world, fair play gets you diddly. <laughs> All fair in love and war, right? <laughs> Not that it matters when your timing is crap. <laughs> so, that it for you then? I don't know how long I can watch this before I kick your ass. <laughs> Whoa, nap time already? I warned him to focus on economy of movement. He really only has himself to blame. So unfair. Why does this thing work for him? It's like I've built up a tolerance for them or something. Matter of fact, let me just test that out. Maybe these things don't have enough juice. No way. What the? Something's wrong. It's never been this strong before. Coach, this is dangerous. I know, I know. I'm trying to shut it down, but the security system is offline. Everyone, take cover. Suddenly. Someone's hacked into the mainframe. Do what you have to. I can buy us a few seconds. Huh? 
Uh, thank you. Much appreciated. I suggest you make a run for it. Here we go with the self-righteous martyrdom thing. Can you please not argue with me for once? There's no argument. We're not abandoning you, and that's that. Yeah. And don't go thinking we're doing this for you. It's just that we're not going to let you be the only hero, Missy. <sighs> I really do belong here. Crazy way to find out. Izumi? Osawa? Let's handle it! Hey, check you out. You know, you should really show that smile more often. Stop it. I think now might be a good time to evacuate everyone else. Of course. I want everyone moving calmly towards Stadium 2. <laughs> magic will be tapped before we can subdue it. Then we're just gonna have to focus whatever we've got left against Fuggle where it hurts. Sound like a plan to you, Chief? Yeah. Three, two, one, zero! Bullseye! I wouldn't celebrate yet. Not to be negative, but I think we just made things considerably worse. Hooray us. Way to let him feed off our power. Sorry it took me so long. You're good, right? <laughs> Try this one on your side. You did it. Uh, uh -oh. You just had to go and push yourself. Hey, you kicked some major ass. How about you rest and leave the kill shot to me? Careful. Every time you throw a spell at it, the stupid thing just seems to soak up the energy. <laughs> oh, is that all? Could be worse. I just have to make this count. its path, we'd be sweeping you up with a broom. That was good work, sis. I 
see. Well, that's good to know. Thanks for the update. Keep me informed if you find it out It sounds pretty else, open and right? shut, in my opinion. Want to subject we have a student who's been getting pushed around, so he tweaks the program to get his revenge. I need to get rid of this thing. Student Council has access to all of the system logs. Doesn't he realize we have the ability to see who logged in with the Master Key most recently? He's in B-Class. Of course he can't cover his tracks. Don't hate on B-Class too much. Their newest guy just saved the day. It was a cockatrice! That's all! I'm sorry. But if he's already that good and he only just got to Babel, then he might be climbing the ranks beside us before you know it. That cocky meathead is nowhere near our level. First rule of borrowing something. Make sure you put it back where you found it. What are you getting at? I don't follow. You were gonna slip it into Onizuka's pocket. Too bad for you they carted his dumb ass to the infirmary already. Sucks to be you, man. Not only do you get stuck with the smoking gun, but your juiced up cockatrice was a real dud. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, don't sell yourself short. Sure you do. <laughs> kind of a shame. I thought you were a good guy when I saw you in that line. Pretty cool how you dealt with Onizuka's crap about causing a fuss. I thought it spoke well of you, but I guess I was wrong, huh? I'm not stupid. I know it only gets worse if you fight back. Better to take my lumps and ride it out. Yeah, that's a pretty good outlook. Except for the fact that you are way stronger than him. Like I couldn't tell. I wasn't born yesterday. He isn't half as tough as he makes himself out to be. Especially the ones who get their rocks off acting all buffs. You know the type acting like the rest of us are lucky to breathe the same air. He tried to start crap with me in class. I heard the Geek Squad made him clean the stadium as a punishment. He swiped a key, made the cockatrice all over 9,000, and then just waited for the thing to get up to no good. Uh, Onizuka? You really shouldn't be messing with the program Shut like up this. already! Take this back to the key room, you little whiner! Move your ass! What exactly are you implying, Osawa? That I doubled back to the program room after the fact and modified the cockatrice to be even deadlier? <laughs> Have you pegged as the clever type? I just dished out. How are you even standing up? Well, see, my linked energy manipulation's a pretty handy skill. It helps me kick ass and protect my own. I'm never gonna be able to take you out with magical attacks. That's what you're telling me? So be it! <laughs> Son of a... That's right. This next barrage isn't meant for the likes of you. I've got the Babel building itself caught in my crosshairs. It would seem that you can withstand my attacks without any problem. But are you sure about all the others? They'll be okay. The barrier's still in place, so the worst you'll do is knock them all out. Funny thing about the school barrier. Sure, it keeps magic from being lethal. It negates that damage like a charm. But it won't help against several tons of building materials crashing down. Why are you trying to kill off your classmates, Tanaka? Because my classmates are too dangerous to be left alive. Do you know where they go once they leave this academy? They're sent to battlefields around the world. All I'm doing is neutralizing future murderers. And you don't care how many innocent people you're gonna wipe out? <laughs> Revolution demands a sacrifice. The 
your sword against my magic. We're about to discover who's fastest on the draw. That's quite enough. Care to explain what you're doing here? What you were about to do from the looks of it, just more conclusively. Truly, I didn't want to interfere, but my duties demanded I take action. I could hardly risk the collateral damage if he were faster. No offense. Uh-oh. You owe me a win, and I'd like to collect. But if I'm gonna be a responsible big brother, Kicking your ass will just have to wait. Hmm. We need to prioritize the wounded. Take the worst hurt to the ICU. I grabbed all the first aid kits I could find, just like you told me. Anybody who's not injured, please give me a hand. Don't overdo it when you are Ow, dead. Ow, careful, dude. Quit your belly aching or turn in your man card. We're still waiting on bandages. Try not Come to on. worry. You're going to be just fine. Can someone please go on a bandage run? Yeah, I'll do it. I figured you could use these, kind of ransack the nurse's office. Where have you been? I was worried sick. I had to take care of something. You just fought a super dangerous monster, you dummy. Maybe you should take a minute to relax and, uh... uh... Know this, my precious daughter. I shall meet my doom one day. If it be not a burden too heavy, I ask you to make a life with whomever ends me. However, if you feel this foe unworthy of you, I command you to strike him down. Sing to everyone else's injuries. Not if you were messed up yourself. Uh, what is this? Some kind of healing magic you picked up? I wish. I can't use magic, remember? It's called vivification. Basically, I awaken the energy you've already got inside you, and your body heals itself with it. I gotta admit, my shoulder does feel pretty good. Listen. If this ends up being more of your pervert hoodoo, I'm gonna hurt you. I'm not peeing myself again. Take it easy. I'm trying to do you a favor, okay? Trust me. You know, if you're gonna assume the worst, I'll rock your world with one poke of my finger. Observe. <laughs> what did you do? Tell me, perv! What sort of deviant shenanigans are you up to? Calm down. I just made you honest with yourself. Give it up! I'm on to your kinky mind control. Why am I? Cry if you wanna. Huh? Open the floodgates. I'm betting you haven't had a good cry since Garius died, am I right? Why won't you leave me alone? What do you care if I cry over it? You don't. So stop acting as though you give a damn about it. Well, aren't we daddy's surly little princess? Look, all I'm saying is that you don't have to be magically fine with your old man being gone. You shouldn't be. And whatever you're saddled with, sadness, despair, hate, hit me with it. Seriously, give me your best shot. After all, it's my fault you're feeling it. I killed your dad, Mew. It must have been so sudden. One day he's alive, the next day he's... But don't bottle it up, okay? Better just to let it out. I mean it. I'm no fool, okay? I know you can hate me for what I did, but I'm here for you either way. Just know that. If you ever need to cry, but the tears won't come, 
I can make it so they do, and nobody else can do that for you right now, not even yourself. That's why I tapped into your true feelings just now. You need a good cry, and this is as good a time as any. <laughs> That's it. Just let everything out. I'm here for you, and I'm not going anywhere. These things couldn't have gotten bigger, could they? I mean, they're so huge already. Jeez. <sighs> I'll make the perv take me clothes shopping the next time we get a day off. On second thought, maybe I'd better have Kuzuha and Izumi take me instead. Let me guess. Shopping trip? Yeah. I just hope your world has tops that'll actually fit me. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just knocking out one of my energy manipulation exercises. For this particular one, you send energy into your feet and use it to stand perpendicular to a vertical surface. Representatives should be allowed certain perks. Huh? What the heck? Get a load of mini Mussolini. Hello? Uh, sorry. Everything all right? Uh, hey, maybe this is a stupid question, but what's Cocoon about? Well, that's pretty darn random. It's just they were talking about it on the news this morning, and I was wondering. I forgot. Summoning Syndrome did a real number on your memory of how things work around here, huh? I can't even imagine how trippy it must be to have amnesia, and you hardly ever talk about it. I guess they're the best of the best of us, and as such, they help preserve the global peace. Cocoon stands for Children of Crossover Other Nations. You see, it's an acronym. Members of Cocoon are strong, crazily so. Each one is more powerful than their nation's combined military might. As the leaders of Babel, it's up to them to supervise and educate kids like us who've returned from other worlds, and to help keep this world as peaceful as it can possibly be. Keeping the peace is the reason they sent us here in the first place, to make sure our abilities aren't exploited by those who look to gain from them, and so that Babel can deploy us to quash whatever wars or regional conflicts might flare up around the globe. Look. I don't see the need for us to converge like this just because some quote-unquote hero has stepped onto the board. It's pointless. We'll see each other at the official summit anyhow. Does this really merit a clandestine meeting? So the Nornchak determined this guy is a true hero, huh? How very melodramatic. As though we're mere interlopers keeping the throne warm for him. Does that bother anyone else? What if that's all we are? <sighs> Pretenders to the throne. Every last one of us. You can't give in to thoughts of self-doubt. What matters is that we act in accordance with our beliefs. We must keep to the path we've chosen. So what do you make of this hero? I've seen a bit of what he can do. But as of yet, I can't speak to his full potential. For now, I'll watch him from his spot in the Class B fishbowl and decide whether he's worthy of joining our ranks. One way or the other, I do not think Akatsuki Osawa shall prove a disappointment. I get it now. I'm a little worried about your brother, Miu. Uh, I don't know, something seems off about him. He's tense. Do you know if he's been stressing out about anything recently? Kind of. 
As soon as they mentioned those cocoon guys on the news, he clammed up and got all weird. Guess he's got beef with them. I'm not used to him keeping stuff to himself. Akatsuki is like... like a big dumb open book all double-spaced and obnoxious. You know what I mean, don't you, Kuzaha? He's not the kind of guy I can imagine keeping anything to himself. Man, for all his faults, that guy sure is one of a kind. I can see why you're hung up on him. Uh, hung up how? I just mean they can't stick you in a house with this ripped young hottie. And then tell you that you're brother and sister and expect you to feel a family bond. Of course you're going to think about doing the nasty. Uh, what do you mean? I'm not thinking that. <laughs> why would I think that about my brother? Besides, even if we weren't related, I think he likes somebody. And even if we weren't and he didn't, I don't like him like that, so whatever. On a totally unrelated note, could I maybe get the two of you to go shopping with me sometime in the near future? Sure thing. Sounds like fun. Shopping for what? Uh, some bras? Count me in. You'll be the sexiest thing on two feet when we're done. I was thinking simple. She doesn't need a sexy bra, just one that fits her. I mean, look at him. Say what? Who do you think she's going to trust more when it comes to bras? The lesbian or the flat girl? Please just let it go! People are watching! I could go shopping with him, but he's too much of a pervert. It'd never work out. The guy on the plane. I've seen him before. Oh! Somebody beat me to the punch. This is my favorite spot on the campus. Well, so much for having it all to myself, I guess. Huh? Call me crazy, but I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Not just in passing, mind you, like I know you from somewhere. I don't guess the feeling is mutual? Look, pal, I don't know what you're going on about, okay? Maybe you got me confused with someone else. Ah, I remember. The new guy, Akatsuki Osawa, that right? Yeah, what's it to you? <laughs> Funny guy. You know you're all anyone can talk about lately. I read up on your little brush with the student council in the school paper. Put her there, what do you say? So, you kind of fail at shaking hands there, Blondie. Ah, I remember. The new guy, Akatsuki Osawa, that right? I read up on your little brush with the student council in the school paper. So, put her there, what do you say? So, you kind of fail at shaking hands there, Blondie. Uh, don't be that way, bro. By the way, I'm liking the style. You're a guy who can think on his feet. Sort of my specialty, bro. <laughs> I wasn't looking for a fight. I'm sure you weren't. So, what'll it be? Want to keep this introduction going for a while? Seeing as I'm not a big fan of pain, I think I'll take a rain check on that. <sighs> Linked energy manipulation. Nice. Seems like that could come in really handy to someone. <sighs> not making much sense there, buddy. Check it. You and me are totally hanging on Monday. There's someone I gotta get you on first names with. Yeah, I'll think about it, but first of all, it might be nice if I knew who you were. Right, my bad. I'm what you might call Babel's official outcast. <laughs> nice to see you're getting the hang of how stuff works in this world, little sis. Don't patronize. It's not like this is rocket surgery or anything. Ah, of course, and automatic doors are a breeze. <laughs> Don't sweat it. Baby steps. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. You, uh, said you need new unmentionables? Oh, yeah, I do, sort of. Your sister's things are a little too snug for me. Sweet! I get to introduce you to the pleasures of mall crawling. Wait, mall what? I don't get it. under one roof? No 
offense, but you're easily impressed. For sheer size and variety, the ones downtown below this lemonade stand out of the water. You know, if the whole idea is to jumpstart her memory, I'm surprised you haven't let her loose in here before now. I mean, this is the sort of thing a girl does quite a bit of when she's younger, so it's bound to help her recall life before you know what. Yeah, typical guy. I underestimated the appeal of clothes shopping. I've really got to get you out more. Nah, it's okay. I don't want to be a pain. Phew, please, you're killing me here. You do not say no to this. If a man wants to buy you things, you take him up on it. Spoken like a boutique sage. Point is, if we're gonna get you back... He's been good about taking so care of me so far, I guess. You're not a but house still, guest, you're family. I don't this know. This is what family does. Uh. If it gets you closer to the life I think you deserve, then I'm all for it. This isn't fair. What's up? Is anything wrong, Mew? No, no, just thinking out loud. <laughs> Look at him, being all supportive. What if he's only doing it so I don't have an out? I'm not looking forward to the phase when I have to worry about fitting into stuff like this. Huh? <laughs> she means having boobs. Oh, well, I don't mean to be creepy, but yours don't seem to want to fit into your old clothes. Uh, well, you know, puberty's hit me with a vengeance. Maybe because I drink milk like it's going out of style. <laughs> there we go, the promised land. Hmm? All right, since we don't know your size, we're going to get you felt up by one of the gals on staff so we know what we're working with. Before we do that, this would be an ideal time for you to find something else to do. Oh, not cool for me to hang? Well, uh, it might be a little awkward, yeah. Sis? <laughs> Think you can handle this if I buzz off for a while? I don't want you to leave. Well, you heard the lady, I'm sticking around. Besides, you might need my fashion sense in case you hit any snags. I was a bouncer once for this super high-end brothel on the other side, so I'm not bad at this stuff, actually. The girls there used to show off their get-ups for me all the time. Said they valued my opinion. Share that a little louder next time. Not everyone in the store heard. Voila, we've got your measurements. Now just give me a few minutes to scrounge up some samples and we'll get started. There are so many things that would look adorable on you. Oh, thanks, I appreciate it. <sighs> Maybe I'm paranoid, but it feels like these things are getting out of control. This is ridiculous. I'm coming in. Oh, okay. Um, they seem like they might be a little big for me. And a couple of these designs are a bit loud for my taste, so... Don't you worry, Sweet Pea. I know just what drives all the men crazy. Your boyfriend is gonna flip. Whoa, whoa, if you mean the guy out there, it's not like that. Oh, I think I get the picture, hun. Hasn't made a move yet, huh? Well, all the more reason to try a few of these little helpers. Seriously, a girl with a fraction of your looks and this kind of lift would be beating them off with both hands. Uh... Don't worry, it's fine. No shame in embracing your genetic advantages. Tell you what, I don't want to overload you, so let's just focus on getting you in one, and then we'll talk style, okay? Is it that hard to get into one? After you've got the straps over your shoulders, lean forward ever so slightly and move the cups around till you fill them out. Next, you clasp the hooks. Then we stand up straight and adjust the straps like so. Now comes the tactical part. While one hand holds the cup in place, the other hand does some tucking and shifting, and then we hike the goods up. Think of it like making a pastry. Last but not least, pull the band below the shoulder blades and you're good to go. Yeah, I don't really think I'm comfortable with them poking up like this. Oh, honey bun, you're just too adorable. Believe me, I've got styles out there that squeeze you like a torture device. This one is nothing. What? Why would you wear that? Oh, it's adorable. What do you think? <laughs> I wonder if this would really make him flipper if she was just saying that. What is wrong with me? Ugh. Hey, how do you get this thing? Uh-oh, huh? uh party foul. Uh, 
Option to shoo me away. I didn't want to be here alone. <laughs> Calm down. The real issue is what we're going to do about your wardrobe malfunction. Uh, yeah, how do I handle this? Just be honest and fess up. They'll probably make you pay for it. How much? That's a lot of money, isn't it? Just checking in. If you need anything, hon, all you have to do is ask. Okie dokie. Oh no! If she sees you in here, she's going to think we're doing something! Ah, oh, come on. Maybe she'll think I got lost on my way out. <sighs> Hide or you die! Fine, show me where and I'm on it. Stop being difficult! Wait, Pete. I'm coming in, alright? <sighs> Take your medicine. Look, I know your background makes this hard for you. You were a princess in Alizard. <laughs> of the Tart clan, no less. I'm guessing it's a safe bet nobody ever taught you how to navigate being in the wrong. That was your old life. In this world, you're my little sister, which means every now and again, you're gonna get it wrong. When you get it wrong, you own up to the fact, period. Well, this would be the time to say something. Hey, Mew, you in there? It's us. Mind if we join you? I have no idea what's been going on in here, but I don't like it one bit! The ladies' spinning rooms are for ladies, mister! Ew, if this is too much for you, we can go. <laughs> can someone explain to me what all this racket is about? Oh, hey, what are you doing here? You must be kidding me. You pervert! What are you doing here? <laughs> well, you're the one dressed like a centerfold model. This whole bra debacle isn't entirely on you. So how are we going to approach this? Uh, uh, excuse me, miss. Sorry to gate crash the party, but we need you. My little sis knows she wants to buy something from this fine establishment. Thing is, though, the bras you gave her don't fit. <laughs> Not possible. Mind you, I don't mean to be rude, sir, but I did take her measurements myself. You need to take her up three sizes. Young man, I will have you know I've been fitting ladies for bras since before you'd ever seen one in person. I would hardly be off by three sizes for crying out loud. A newbie would make a gap like that. No one's saying this is on you. Indulge me, please. Even a seasoned expert can be surprised, eh? <laughs> I really hope you're not just sending her away so you can tear off and make us all accessories to vandalism. Have a little faith, okay? Now... Turn your back toward me if you would. Hmm. Oh, as if. I'm familiar with that look. The second I turn around, you're going to push my buttons and do something naughty. Come on, don't be this way. I'm just going to enhance your luscious little bod with a touch of energy manipulation. No funny business, I swear. Hmm. Okay. All righty then, let's get you loosened up. Resistance. Here you go. Okay, ready to squeeze you into this thing whenever you're feeling it. Uh, 
Are you sure you know what you're doing? Trust me on this, babe. I'm a bit of an expert. <laughs> Back in my brothel days, the girls often needed an extra pair of hands. They don't trust their bodies to just anyone. Sounds counterintuitive, I know, but think about it. If they expect to make rent, they can't afford to let their goods get bruised by some ham-fisted Tommy Tidefly, oh no. Of course, every now and then they enjoyed my attentions a bit too much, sure, but what are you gonna do? That's what I'm talking about. Do I or do I not know how to stuff some tea into a bee? You've got an eye, sir. Not every day that I'm outdone by a man. I do what I can, milady. So, about the set you brought in here earlier. I hate to kick your newfound respect for me in the nuts, but I'm afraid we kind of, sort of, maybe busted it. <laughs> I had a feeling something like that was up. Eh, don't worry about paying. It's my fault for bringing the wrong size to begin with. Guess it's just one of those days. Wait, I can't let you take the rap. This is gonna sound a little weird, but I made some changes to her while you were on the sales floor. What do you mean? You have to understand, the girl's got issues. When she overthinks things, she gets super tense, really does a number on how she carries herself. See, our bodies contract under stress. When I helped her let go of some of that pent-up energy, she went up a size. Poor thing's also super self-conscious about her tatas, makes her slouch something awful. So I made her ramrod the old spine to take her up another size. Why the third size? That'd be a trade secret, I'd tell you, but I'd have to kill you. A little help, please, or would you prefer I take my business elsewhere? Sorry, ma'am, one moment. Anyway, so yeah, that's the lowdown. You seem like a nice lady, so I didn't want anyone pinning this on you. This was my screw-up, plain and simple. If it's a store policy for customers to pony up on damaged merchandise, I'll take the hit. No big deal. All I ask is that you take care of my sister next time she comes in. Don't listen to him! He's lying! I'm the one who tore it! It should be me who fesses up and pays or whatever it is you're supposed to do to make things right, not him, okay? I thought... Look, it wasn't that I didn't want to come clean, I just didn't know how to do it. I didn't want to look like a stupid brat. <laughs> you, you're such an adorable mess. Listen to me. Here in this world, no matter what happens, you and me, we're in it together. That's the whole point of family, so that's what we're gonna do, okay? Just know, whenever the right thing to do is hard, Big Bro's got your back. Talk about your 180. A minute ago he was yanking her mangoes and now he's being all sentimental. Well, I for one think it's rather sweet. A little odd that it's taking place in the fitting room of a lingerie shop while Mio's standing there half naked, maybe, but whatever. Ah, oh. oh. oh, fantastic! You look great! It's the hottest thing right now. Fabric that goes transparent as your body temperature rises. Super trendy. Ah. I've had quite enough. Your nerve astounds me. Ugh, oh, Osawa, have you no decency? I'm thinking this would be a good time for us to wait outside. Yeah, sure. Not so fast, girls. You're up next. Uh, when the heck did you go get those? Clearly that whole spiel about you not using magic was crap. <laughs> let this be a lesson to you never to let your guard down. We ladies must be ever cautious of our virtue. Actually, I was hoping you could join us. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, sis is in tears. She's mortified. Unless you can step up and show her there's nothing to be embarrassed about, she's likely to avoid you. From this moment forward, the three of you will become the Boob Alliance. Want to know what mortifies me most? The fact that my brother knows more about boobs than he has any right to! Any clue what you're doing for the ranking matches this week, or are you playing it by ear? Mm hmm? Uh, come again? You're such a doofus! Does it ever occur to you that the reason our teachers go to the trouble of lecturing us is because once in a while what they have to say is actually worth taking in? After the written exams next week, there's a big combat exam all the classes are supposed to participate in. How you handle yourself determines what level they bump you to next year. Oh, come to think of it, I do remember hearing something about that. Any special reason you bring it up? Well, if we're going to form teams like we're encouraged to, we'd better start thinking along those lines. They told us we can pick whoever we want, just that no team is supposed to exceed four people. Otherwise, it'd be unfair to everybody else. Of course, there's a reason four happens to be the magic number. Ah, because that stacks up nice with the student council. Yep, you got it. So, what are you planning to do? No need to worry about me. What are you guys gonna do? Well, we talked it over, and we decided that the three of us ought to combine forces for the day. Yeah? 
But then we started thinking maybe three wouldn't really be enough. I mean, go big or go home, right? Anyway, the point is we decided you should join up with us too. Hold on a sec. You want me on your team? Hey, don't get all weird. It's not like we need you. We're not falling all over ourselves to have you on board. We just thought since you obviously didn't have a backup plan, we'd save you from yourself. Huh. I guess I could. Sure, I don't see why not. Seriously? Uh, uh I mean, wise choice. Yeah. For you, not for us. We were cool either way. <laughs> hey, so thanks. You guys were real sports to tag along like this. That's cool. Hey, as a matter of fact, I enjoyed it. It's been a while since I gave myself a day off. Let's do it again sometime. Catch you later. See ya. What's up with that? Uh, well, I just wanted to show off the pajamas you bought me. So what do you think? Oh, okay, turn around. Let's have a proper look at you. <laughs> Real nice. The cut suits you and the yellow really brings out your eyes. <gasps> you think so? Thank you. I never know what I look good in, so I'd never have picked these up for myself. Lucky I've got you, huh? Anyway, I just wanted you to see me in them. Seriously, you're too cute. You're killing me here. show on TV I was curious about. The whole reason I came in here, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Honey, wouldn't have thought you'd be into this kind of thing. Uh. <gasps> Don't sweat it. No judgment. You're a young girl on the threshold of womanhood. It's only natural you'd be curious about what goes on between hot lady pirates and the after dark time uh. slot. Uh. No! So, you win her out. Can't wait to hear this baby sing. You're a freaking genius, Pops. Oh, by the way, guess I should give you the name of the dude I want riding the thing. It's Osawa. Akatsuki Osawa. Your attention, please. Owing to this afternoon's summit meeting, all hotel personnel are currently on heightened security alert. Please allow for an additional five to ten minutes when either entering or exiting the premises. We thank you in advance for your patience and cooperation. Ah, my sincerest apologies. Sir, please. If the brass finds out your absence slipped the notice of every man on my team, they'll end up using me for target practice. I recommend a sweep of the bathroom. Oh my god. Brad, we have a situation down here. Ha! Time for action! We know exactly what this is. Our esteemed leader means to gauge our ability to perform in his absence. And yours truly literally wrote the book on this. So then, we will simply follow these security manuals to the letter and voila! Order will prevail! Sure, whatever. Like you broke a sweat. Little Miss Schnoz in the book never fails. 
think you had it in the bag? Eh, I don't know. Either you bombed, or you're not a fan of the rain. It must be the rain. You can't have tanked that badly. Not to add to your woes, me, but keep in mind the ranking matches are just around the corner. You're not gonna make it through the week like this. Know what I think will lift your spirits? Three little words. Change of scenery. Nice try, girls! But I'm afraid Aki has other engagements. Look alive, bro. You're with me. For what? Huh. Remind me your name? Ugh. Why you gotta play a brother like that? You know the name's Kaido? Come on, dude! Mudoharu, Babble Social Pariah! We had a little sparring match on the roof. You got ticked, I wanted to shake your hand. We wound up agreeing to hook you up with a buddy of mine. Oh, yeah. That middle part's definitely ringing some bells. A friend of yours? Uh, yeah, well, they're sure busting each other's balls like their old pals. You think maybe it's a little too soon for this? Let's leave them to their bonding ritual. Hey, who's in the mood for ice cream? Me! Seriously? Swank digs, Blondie. No way. This is your first time over here? Things have been kind of hectic since we transferred. I don't get out very much. There's parts of this place I ain't seen on a map, let alone been into. The shop building's my paradise. Awesomely retro. So, what you think? It's not exactly my style. So, where's this buddy of yours you want to show me off to? You'll see. This joint's kind of his classroom. Yo, Kaido, what you doing? You seen the old man? Out back dicking around. Any idea what the pissy mood's all about? Dude's been ice cold. <laughs> You're kidding me. Babel's got a racetrack? Sweet, huh? Of course, it's not so much for racing as it is for school experiments and stuff. Aha, uh -huh, there he is. What's up, Pops? So that badass I've been telling you about? Totally brought him. Akatsuki, come here. Say hi to the man. Doesn't look like he'd give a damn. This better be good. Don't be such a hard-on. I asked you if we could check the thing out, and you said you didn't care. I've got a feeling Aki can tame her. I don't think so. He'll just wind up like you, holed up in the infirmary. You don't know that unless you let him try! You're just afraid it'll be him instead of you! Spiritual energy. Engines pure aura calcium. Maximum output of 16,770,000 horsepower. Top speed's rumored to break the sound barrier, but no one's confirmed it yet. The thing is, she hasn't found the right match yet. I mean, you saw it. Hell, anyone she doesn't take a shine to gets jacked up. You're telling me it decides who rides? That's pretty much the long and short of it. I tried to ride her for the longest time till I decided it wasn't worth dying. The jolt she gave you just now was just a warning. Touch her again and she'll fire enough juice through your veins, she'll be dead before you hit the ground. He's not lying, man. Remember, that's over 16 million horsepower you're dealing with. Still, though, she's gonna warm to you. I can feel it. Hold on a sec. Not to be a douche, but yeah, you're gonna have to explain to me why this bike is worth risking my life. Hell if I know. <laughs> a real man would want to find out, though. Maybe you wouldn't understand. Are you dumb enough to try again? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Hey, word of advice. No motorcycle's worth getting yourself killed. And no one expects you to be your dad. 
Dude, you don't want to go there. Sorry, kid. The Sleipnirs only had one master long as I've been here, and that's Goki Osawa, your dear old father. Oh, yeah? And how do you know him? Spoke with him a few times, but that was a while back. So, get what I'm telling you now? The next person who rides this bike will have to be on par with a legend, at a bare minimum. But something tells me the honor ain't gonna go to his son. Nice try. Now I don't have a choice. You've earned complaints from every quarter of the school, Osawa. Please gather your things. You will be accompanying me to the head office immediately. Wow, talk about overreacting. I will have you know that you're in serious breach of Babel policy, sir. This racetrack isn't a playground. To conduct an experiment of this magnitude, one requires the student council's approval. Oh yeah? First I've heard of it. Okay, fine. Noted. Right! I'd consider it a personal favor if you'd let him off with a warning. Blame's on my head anyway, when you get right down to it. I am the one who let him tear ass all over the place on this thing. Wait, you... but that's... Well, kid, looks like the Sleipnir's kind of fond of you. That's a lot of responsibility, but I think you can handle it. Hey, hop off so I can find Tuner, and maybe you can ride her home. Um, excuse me, no! I'm afraid it's not that simple. The student council will be confiscating this machine as evidence for when Akatsuki's case goes to tribunal. <laughs> It's not always my fault when your clothes vanish. But then again, I did wake her up, so maybe this one is on me. Honestly, it's getting hard to keep track. Anywho, what's it gonna be, VP? You want this baby? She's all yours. No, keep it away! I want absolutely nothing to do with a cheap piece of engineering that's as depraved as the bastard who owns it! Virtually in the heart of the Commerce District. No, I understand. I'll be there as soon as I can. Lucky you, dog. A situation far more important requires my attention. But mark my words. Soon you'll feel the full weight of my wrath. The hour will come. Gesture doesn't excuse you. Don't think it does. But I promise, it will be returned fully laundered. Whatever, babe. Peace to Babel. Come in, Babel. We've got a group of terrorists holed up on the 47th floor. Exact number unknown, but a rough estimate of somewhere in the neighborhood of 20. All of them appear to be armed. Assault rifles or comparable. We've confirmed at least 50 hostages being held at gunpoint. No idea if this checks out, but the bastards are claiming affiliation with Crimson Twilight. 
We're going to err on the side of caution and turn the reins over to you guys, as per Section E-35 of the Homeland Defense Manual. We'll be standing by if you need us. Good luck in there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but with the Crimson Twilight outfit, aren't superhuman abilities a condition of membership? Seems like overkill to have 20 of their people on 50 hostages. Just saying. My bet is they're a bunch of pissant nobodies waving a CT banner for the prestige. That's likely the case. Yeah, well, pissants can still be plenty hazardous to your health. Uh, I hope our viewers at home can see this. One of the men has... I think that's a submachine gun. Unless our demands are met to every last detail, these people are gonna die. The power of Crimson Twilight will be taken seriously. Do we know what their demands are? They want the summit postponed indefinitely, and four of their buddies who got bagged in this morning sweep released from police custody. Not going to happen. We'll take out the sentries first so we can drop through the roof. Let's do this. Rock on. But yeah, before we do, I was sort of curious. <laughs> What's with the ensemble? Kindly focus on the task before us! Outside the scene. Commencing with cleanup operation. Instructions, ma'am. Do it. That little girl's safety is our number one priority right now. When their attention is on the helicopter, I want us in Delta formation as quickly as possible. Understood, ma'am. Great. I love not having options. She's barely out of preschool. Didn't think it through, did you? You're gonna be all right, sweetie. No more tears, okay? You reckless lunatic! I 
hope you're aware of the tragedy you might have caused. The next time you feel like doing some grandstanding, we'll all thank you to do it somewhere other than the middle of a hostage situation. And what if I hadn't been here? What would you have done? Thing is, I never ignore a girl's tears. That's just kind of a rule I have. I don't expect you to understand. You're impossible! My baby! Mommy! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hold it! You can't just swagger off! I'm not done with you! You insufferable pig! Thank you! You saved my girl! It was like a miracle! Uh, actually, thank I can't you. take the thank credit. you. I'm in your debt forever. <laughs> I'll blow all of us straight to hell. They never check to see if more than one of you is masquerading as a hostage. You'd expect Psy to miss that, but the student council really ought to know better. For that matter, Aki should too. Who the hell are you? Me? Nobody you'd have heard of. Speaking of which, about the whole Crimson Twilight tag. Not a good play, man. jacket. Uh, ah, that was nice of you. I had them use extra detergent. Hmm, okay. Uh, um, you're welcome to come in and have a bite to eat if you... Thank you, no, I've eaten. I must be going insane. Just walk. Suit, so we're good to go. Hurry up, okay? We'll wait for you outside. Uh, wait, you're leaving? Mm. Come on, Soph, you can do this. Mm. Oh, my goodness. So, it appears there's no longer any room for doubt. The Dark Lord Garius has met his doom. But there are those within his cursed clan who would still do us injury. We cannot allow this canker to grow. We must quell this rebellion as soon as possible. Well said. Know that the Shelfied Kingdom has no objections to that which you propose, Emperor. For the sake of peace in our world, we will pledge our sword to this fight. Hmm. And you, Lord Barum, what say you? I will stand fast with you on this decision, Your Holiness. But I think we have a bigger problem. The fate of the Dark Lord's child. She had gone to ground, but I have discovered where she had been hiding in the days since his death. We cannot afford to sit idle. We must send a search party to apprehend her immediately. With all due respect, since his death, most of Garius' clansmen have kept to themselves deep within the darkness of Galepain Forest. Targeting his daughter will only serve to provoke their anger. You would have us do nothing? So long as the Dark Lord's heir is alive, we must wait for the vengeance they will undoubtedly seek out. You may be right, but even so... Your Majesty, it is true that Garius' daughter has done us no wrong. But there is wisdom in what Lord Barum says. The girl's very existence is a threat to the newfound peace so many have fought and died for. I know. Well, all right then. It seems we've reached an accord. Lord Barum, you believe the Dark Lord's daughter has left Galepane Forest, correct? That's right. Not only has she left Galepane, but I believe she's departed Alizard itself. Uh -huh. 
Honestly, now. Gotta stop complaining about it eventually. Very funny. Yes, they gave us some downtime before the ranking matches, but we still have other exams to prep for. Calm down, it's out of our hands. The family of the girl we rescued wanted to thank us for our bravery with a fun in the sun getaway. So here we are. It'd have been rude to turn him down, he even said so. I know I did, but still. Haruka, do you not enjoy the beach or something? No, the beach itself is fine. I just don't... Hey, don't forget. You told the girl's mom Osawa's the one who really saved her. It's only natural he's gonna get invited on our beach trip. Face it, Haruka. You did this to yourself. Hey, sorry for the wait. Ah, there you are. You're a guy. Do our suits meet with your manly approval? Yeah. On behalf of all men, I give you ladies two thumbs way up. But aren't we missing someone? Don't you worry, she's right here. Your sister feels a little self-conscious, that's all. Show them the goods. Here it goes. Uh, what do you think? Well, I'm sure not complaining. But if you're so uncomfortable wearing it, why'd you choose it in the first place? She had a bit of trouble picking out a suit. And she just closed her eyes and snapped this one up at random. There's no need to blush. Check it out. It's not like you're the only girl on the beach who's showing some skin. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Uh, so, it's okay? Uh-huh. Just let me know if any of the guys start creeping you out. Creeping me out? Uh, hey! <laughs> Shall we, ladies? You're coming with us, aren't you, Miu? Uh, yeah. You go on ahead. I'll catch up. Uh, hi. Oh, it's you. Since we're all here, I thought maybe you'd like to hang out with us. No, we don't want to impose on you. Don't be such a stick in the mud. Why don't you take the girl's invitation? Um, really, that's okay. Ryohei, in case you haven't noticed, I don't want to go. Give me one good reason why you should blow her off, then. You want a reason? How about she's Osawa's sister? You're way too hung up on that guy, Haruka. It might be nice to iron out some of the drama between you two. He's been nothing but an insufferable show-off since the day he You arrived. saved that little girl, right? Going out of your way to avoid him is gonna look like you're jealous that he stole your spotlight. Don't wanna seem petty. <clears throat> well, you can do whatever you wanna. You're a big girl. Fine, then. I'm so sorry to have made you wait. If the offer still stands, we would love to hang out with you. Of course! Hey, what's the holdup, you two? If we're going to do this, then let's go. About that. I think I'm gonna stay here and watch our stuff. Huh? What about you, Minami? You in? No can do. Working on my tan. Guess you're on your own. What? So I have to go by myself? You set me up! It's all good. You're the one who's harboring a major beef against Osawa. So you're the one who needs to hang out with him. <laughs> Take this! <laughs> you got it, me, you! <laughs> you sure this is the way back to the beach house, Chikaji? Yeah, I think so. Hey. What's going on? Maybe they're about to hold a concert out here. Nope, sorry. It's not a concert, but it's definitely worth sticking around. Huh? Aki, how's it hanging? Just getting some sun. What are you doing out here? Making some coin, believe it or not. Came to the beach today at my part-time job. Isn't he the one with the huge man crush on your brother? Yeah. Ladies, allow me to introduce you to Motoharu Kaido. He's kind of a lone wolf, I guess. Better than what I usually get called, and totally true. Yeah, like you said, the name's Moto Haru. Me and him are buds. Pleased to meet you. So, what's this part-time job anyway? Yours truly is on the event staff. Just what in the world am I looking at here? Really? You've never heard of it? They hold this beach swimsuit tag event every year. They air it on pay-per-view TV and there's a cash prize. It's kind of a big deal. Hell, I'd watch it. Sounds like fun, and it says here that there's no entry fee. So what do you say? Want to give it the old college try there, Aki? Sure. Sounds like a good way to kill some time. Feeling lucky, girls? Hmm. It is tempting. Well, I'll do it. Are you sure about that? I don't want them to think I'm some shy little girl. I can be fun, too. Well, if Mew's gonna do it, then count me in. Okay. Me, too. But what about our vice president? Huh? Fine. If I'm going to fraternize with you, I suppose I've no choice but to see it through to the bitter end. Who's ready for some tag? Oh! Make some noise, because the beach swimsuit tag event is about to go live, party people! Earlier, we had you fine-looking folks stick number tags onto your swimsuits. 
Now we're going to hold a drawing to pick the target. And we're changing things up a bit this year. Whoever comes back holding the target suit at the end of the hour is the winner. <laughs> Ladies, it's all good. Only the guys' numbers went into the drawing, so chill. Your T and A are safe with us. And here we go. Get ready. Rolling the graphic. Cross your fingers, fellas. Wait. So it's me? Congratulations, 88. You've won a fun-filled hour of running as fast as you can from everyone around you. Well, at least four of them will be on my side. Right, girls? We're gonna give you a ten-second head start. You're allowed to go wherever you want so long as it's on the beach. Changing rooms, beach houses, they're all in bounds. That's pretty much it as far as rules go. It's you versus everyone, 88, so do what you got. You don't have to tell me twice. And now that you all know what I look like, time to GTFO! We're starting that ten-second timer. Good luck to ya! Hey, Minami. How come you're so gung-ho about getting all gold and tan all of a sudden? People keep telling me that I'm too pale. I'm just tired of them asking me if I've come down with something. If you come home with too much color, they'll think you were up to some crazy beachside shenanigans while you were here. So either way, you're kind of screwed. It's a conundrum. Where are you off to? Rinsing off my suntan oil. White it is. Okay then. You have fun with that. This reminds me of the fun I used to have with Valkyrie and the girls. What am I supposed to do for an hour? Just run around and keep them from getting me bare-assed? Hey, wait a sec. The rules only said that whoever has my trunks at the end of the hour is the winner. Not that I have to run. Take this! Give you heard her! You know what they say. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. If you're gonna try something as barbaric as swiping my swimsuit, I'm cool with pulling tit for tat. Ah! That went well. We got you! Uh, just know that if you're gonna get all grabby with me, my grab foo is strong. You don't think somebody's already gotten them, do you? I can't imagine your brother relinquishing his swim trunks so early in the hour. Ah! What was that all about? Weren't those some of the folks chasing Akatsuki? <laughs> Indeed we do. Into another world? Lord Barum, do you suggest that the Dark Lord's daughter has traveled through the other world gate? As you know, only those from other lands can employ that means. I agree. Your theory has merit, sir. But it goes against everything we know about these portals. Not at all. As Queen Listy was so kind to remind us, only those who travel here from beyond Alizar can make use of the gate. And make use of it, he did. He who? Wait, surely you don't mean... That's right. This crisis is Akatsuki's doing. <sighs> this game is crap. Instead of us getting a peek at his junk, he's getting a peek at everyone else's. I dig it in principle, but come on. I don't mean to alarm any of you, but we're the only girls who still have tops. We've all seen the way he fights against male opponents. How's anyone that strong so quick with his hands? Chicks in a two-piece are an easy mark. I could have told you that. So, what do we do? He's coming for us. You know he is. Listen, you and the VP go hide somewhere. Kuzaha and I can take care of sticky fingers. Back while everyone was charging at him, she and I made some preparations if you catch my drift. On second thought, stay for the fun. He's here. Found you, girls. Huh? Sorry, pervert. Time to even the odds with some magic. Kuzaha's an Earth type, and I like to rock the H2O. You're fighting the home team. Kiss those shorts goodbye. <laughs> Show me what you got. I'll be taking that. I don't think so. Traps are one of the many perks of being the home team. Now all we have to do is run down the clock until the hour is up, and our swimsuits will be safe and sound. Or if you're feeling ballsy, we can make a grab for those trunks. Split the prize money two ways? How about three? I think we'll need Miu's help to get them off. He's gone! Oh! Chica D! Oh, that was designed to fall in on you! How'd you escape? I can walk on water for crying out loud. You think sand's gonna harsh my mellow? Now then, that's a real nice one piece you've got. Uh. 
You, you're kidding, right? Hey, where's the faith? I've pulled off tougher ones than that. I'll have you out of that without ripping a stitch. <laughs> hey now, cool your jets, compadre. <sighs> they're gonna air this thing on pay-per-view, remember? I know a little jiggle makes the ratings go round, but they're gonna can us if you start going full pedo bear. Oh yeah, you did say something about a TV program. You're pretty fast, for a dude at the beach in sandals, I mean. Well, I can't run on the ocean like some people, but I do okay. All right, 40 minutes down, 20 to go. What's the plan? Nobody likes a quitter, right? Well, then, let's go get some girls naked. Man, if there are any girls out there still playing the game, they better run. Hmm, so it's come down to you versus Akatsuki, huh? <laughs> at least they're hanging out. Hey. <clears throat> Haruka? Minami, what are you doing in the showers? I'm rinsing off the suntan lotion. Isn't that what you're doing in here? Yeah, look at this sand. I'd better get clean ASAP. They did say buildings on the beach were fair game. So too bad for him if he doesn't think to look here. Hey, there you are. This should be old hat to you by now, right? Ha! Hold it! Stay for the record where you are right now. Uh, in a shower full of naked, wet women? Correct, which I'm sure is a disqualifiable offense. Oh, I wouldn't count on that if I were you. That host chick said I could go anywhere on the beach I wanted, and she didn't say no buildings. But they can't let you do that. It's illegal. Sure. And 20 minutes from now, if you still see me standing here, feel free to call the cops. Until then, the rules of swimsuit tag say it's all good. I don't know, man. That's a pretty convoluted interpretation of the rules, Aki. Though I gotta admit, I'm getting some great footage out of this. Hey! <laughs> Getting my top as easily as the others, you're in for a disappointment. That's the spirit. I'm in the mood for a challenge. Much better. Ooh. Yes, victory is mine! <laughs> Oops, a daisy. Well, I'm not going to thank you, so there. Don't worry about it. These are things enough. What are? <laughs> <laughs> Swimsuit, get! Give them back! Immediately! Standing up just shows me everything, you know. Huh? Ah! You didn't take any other bottom, so I'm mine! Just felt like it. Ah! I had fun hanging out. Let's do it again! You get back here, Akatsuki Otawa! He's never gonna find me way out here. Sup? Huh? You've gotta be kidding me! I can sense your energy from a mile away, you know that. Uh -huh. So, how they hang? Just being a hero, the pleasure was all mine. What kind of hero grabs a girl like this? Don't forget, you did almost drown trying to keep them covered yourself. I'm merely taking two for the team. You know there's a better way to do that! Actually, I think you're right. <gasps> Voila! Oh. This fabric's way too slippery. The best way to get a firm grip is to go underneath it, not for skin on skin. Ah, you're awful! That's it, party people! The hour of tag is up! Unfortunately for our target, the water itself is out of bounds. Sorry, 87 and 88, but we gotta disqualify. No one wins the cash money this year! Huh? Disqualified? Oh no, I'm sorry I made you lose. <laughs> At least I'm walking away with the booby prize. Uh, wasn't Rion the designer who made those see-through undies that freaked you out? Wait, can you see everything? <laughs> this ought to keep you covered up. Make sure that you hold on tight now, because here we go! Ask you to make a life with whomever ends me. I'm sorry, Dad, but I don't think I can do it. I mean, he's a hero, and I'm... The Dark Lord's daughter. And we're to believe that Akatsuki, of all people, spirited her away to his realm? Lord Barum seemed so sure, but what of that? Akatsuki defeated Garius, the most powerful Dark Lord our world has ever known, in single combat. To try and brand him a traitor, it sits ill with me. Indeed. Why would he suggest such a thing? If the accusation is found to lack merit, he knows he'll be taken to task for his slanderous words. Yet he is still confident for all of that. I hope you can forgive my late arrival. Of course, Lord Barum. And now that you're here, perhaps you might tell us how you intend to send a search party through the gate. The other world gate only responds to those from realms unknown, such has its nature always been. Who, then, can trek to Akatsuki's land beyond and prove the guilt you assign him? I have taken that into account. 
Might I introduce Phil Burnett? Fortunately, he hails from the same world as the traitor. I am honored to meet you, my fair Queen Listy. Phil shall return from whence he came. There he will track down Garius' spawn and prove to you she is no harmless girl. I trust none of you has an objection to this course of action. If you do, I suggest that you speak it now, or I will interpret your silence as consent. Do as you will. I'm counting on you, Phil, to seek out the Dark Lord's daughter and bring her back here to face her fate. As you wish, my lord. Lord Barum, don't tell me you intend to have the girl brought back here in shackles. Even if outsiders could travel here a second time, which they cannot, I find and this... And who's to say they cannot? You're saying there is a way to do it? He could come back to me. I take my leave of you, Queen Listy. I almost forgot. Say this hero tries to prevent me from carrying out your orders. What am I to do? If it should ever come to that, strike him down. You would have him killed? In a heartbeat. The Dark Lord's daughter is a threat to the good of our world. Anyone who aids her in her escape from us is a foe to us all. Are they not? But he would never. Akatsuki Osawa is our greatest hero. You know the truth of the man, Queen Listy. He's no hero from on high. He's a rogue. You have forgotten your kingdom's true hero. May his soul find eternal rest. You wronged the ghost of Leon Asparo. Leon, who died protecting your Akatsuki from the Dark Lord he would eventually slay. And then, when the so-called hero of Shellfeed ran like a dog, you were forced to abandon your capital and make for the safety of Alaclosta. Your hero is a coward. The only reason any of us are alive to listen to this foul-tongued vitriol is that the man you condemn as a coward led the charge to retake our land in the face of certain death. He accepted the title of rogue hero out of remorse for Leon's sacrifice, without which Akatsuki surely would have died. You wrong a great man with your words, Lord Baron. Fall silent lest you dishonor yourself further. Paint your former champion in whatever light you deem fit, but do not expect me to share your faith in he who is faithless. I will take back my words when his innocence has been proven, and not a moment before, though hell itself may rage at me. That will have to suffice. Lord Barrow, a question, if I may. What is it? It would have been better to send out your man as soon as possible. Yet several days have passed since our trilateral conference. This delay can only have served to muddy the trail. Ah, the blame for that lies squarely on my shoulders, I'm afraid. My Lord Barum implored me to hurry, but my preparations took some time. I see. One last question, then, provided you don't object to the asking. Not in the slightest. Ask away. You mean to best a hero.
not sweating this, are you? Hey, I'm surprised to see you here. Don't be too shocked now. Taking part in the ranking battles is mandatory. I'm a student here, just like the rest of you. Yeah, I know you are. It's just weird how I didn't sense your presence until a moment ago. Guess I'm part ninja. Now look, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, Aki, but some of these knuckleheads are gonna try and whoop you for the street cred, so you might want to watch your back. I hope they try it. Every challenger I leave in the dust is one more notch in my belt. I'm definitely not above cracking some heads to make it into A-class. So, you giving me the heads up about this because you and I are all buddy-buddy, or are you going for it too? Good question. Let's just say I don't like to fight when the outcome is obvious. That's a non-answer if I ever heard one. <laughs> yeah, well, unlike a certain showboater in B-class, I'm not the sort who likes drawing attention to myself. I'll be taking this battle royale nice and easy. Oh, I've been looking for you! Sorry, he's all yours. Didn't mean to bogart your bro. <laughs> you are a slowpoke! I've been looking all over, Mr. Oh, I'll find you! Chill out. Why are you in such a pissy mood all of a sudden? She gets a lot of unsolicited attention from the others. How come? Well, she did jump straight into Class B like you, which is a relatively unprecedented feat. But Miu stands out in other ways. Huh. Uh, it's not like I want my boots on display when I wear this top. It's more than just her chest, though. The boys really dig her looks. According to them, Miu here is the whole enchilada. Yeah? Who the fuck it? They're certainly not tripping over each other to chatter up. Because they want to live. Her big brother's a badass. No one wants to risk getting effed up. That's right, horn dogs. Just keep walking. <laughs> Guess the only folks at Babel who've got the stones to tangle with you were a couple of the other kids from A-Class and some of the bigwigs on the student council, huh? Wait a second. Are they fair game? Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, they're helping the faculty run the exams behind the scenes and all. But at the end of the day, they're students just like us. Still, they're not going to be on the menu until the second day. Ah, look at that dumb grin. The strongest fighters in the whole darn school are going to be gunning for him, and he just stands there licking his chops. Come on. What are you so worried about? If I say I can take them, then I can take them. Good to know, because they're making a beeline for you, buddy. How you doing, VP? Top and bottom of the morning to you. Oh, very subtle. Thank you so much for that. Something I should know about, Haruka? Oh, no. Sorry. Good to see you, Osawa. All set for the big day. Don't you sweat it, Prez. I was born ready. Matter of fact, I can't wait to get out there and show you guys what I can do. I applaud your competitive spirit, though I have no doubt you'll come through unscathed. Your team looks strong, too. And I see you've enlisted Motoharu to your cause. You're full of surprises. <gasps> Well, look at you. Must be doing something right if he knows who you are. Well, we're both in A-class. Why? Does this mean my stock just went up with you or something? Don't look so proud, Motoharu. Given how much we've had to discipline you for skipping class, of course we know who you are. <laughs> Lucky me. Getting a crack at you at last. Once the matches start up, everybody's fair game, Prez. You and me are gonna have us a rumble. As much as I would enjoy putting you in your place, it will have to wait. I'm not scheduled to participate in this round of fights. What? As a member of Cocoon, my presence at the upcoming summit meeting is compulsory. However, the other three council officers will be more than happy to take you on. You're going to the summit? I'd almost forgotten about that whole thing. For whatever it's worth, every Cocoon member will be in attendance. It's very important that he be there, you see. Fair enough, but he's not going to be in meetings the whole time, right? Come on, Akatsuki. Can't you give it a rest? It's not like this is a class reunion, you know? You can't just slip out whenever. Sorry, man, but you'll have to have your sparring match another time. With the meeting in Japan, he's kind of like the host. The president has a lot on his plate. Chicken from the sound of it. What? Why, you little- I only need be at the summit until tomorrow night. Assuming things end as scheduled, there should be plenty of time at the end of the battle exams for me to oblige you. I trust that'll suffice. Oh, hell yeah. Where do we meet? Very few of our peers will endure to the end of the final day of fighting. When the time is right, I have no doubt one of us will happen upon the other. Speaking of chicken, you shouldn't count yours before it hatches, Akatsuki. A lot can happen between now and then. The three of us can participate starting tomorrow morning, and the moment we've suited up, I'm coming for you. You'll be eliminated long before the president gets back. Better double down on bras. Ugh. Pummeling you into the ground is going to be a victory for all womankind, you well, savage! Then. I will look for you tomorrow. Oh, Mew. Can 
Can I talk to you? Yeah, um, sure. Hey, man. I'm gonna go make myself scarce. You kick some ass. And if the ass in question could maybe not be attached to me, you'd be doing me a big favor. I'm not making any promises either way. <laughs> oh, you're a real giver. So what did the VP want to talk about? She, uh, it was nothing important, really. Uh... All right. Time to explain the rules for the ranking battle. The exam period will last 48 hours. You will be evaluated on how long you remain in the running and how well you fight. You are allowed to sleep during the exam if you see fit, but be aware that your fellow students are allowed to attack you at any moment, including vulnerable ones such as that. If you defeat someone whose rank is higher than your own, your rank will be increased in accordance with the grading metric. Every student is considered an active participant in the exam until the point at which they're knocked unconscious by an opponent, at which time their final scores will be calculated. Any unsportsmanlike conduct will result in disqualification. The faculty is monitoring the battle area closely to keep things on the up and up. Stay tuned for a subsequent broadcast in which I'll explain the concept of AD power delimiting. What's AD power delimiting mean? Oh yeah, I forget you and Akatsuki are new to this whole battle exam deal, so I probably shouldn't assume you guys know what's up. Power delimiting doesn't mean our weapons get any stronger, so don't get too excited about it. All it means is that our AD bracelets are going to sync up with the fabric of our gym uniform. Each of our bracelets contains auric calcium. It's the good stuff that makes our weapon summoning possible. Today, it will respond to your mental state and turn your clothes into combat threads. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like our outfits adapt to our personalities just like our weapons tend to do. Yeah, that's the idea. Though it does check your subconscious, too, so sometimes you get some unusual... What? What are you looking at? Uh... <gasps> what the? Why am I wearing this thing? Cut it out, you guys, or do I have to start busting heads already? <gasps> Show some compassion. She may watch kinky anime and wear itty-bitty <gasps> swimsuits, but that doesn't mean she wanted to be slutted up like this. we shut down in a hurry. Now exactly how many teams are there doing this thing again? There are 39 teams in all, ranging from Class A down to Class C. 37 teams sounds like a lot to beat, but if we work together, I'm sure we can do it. Better get started, then. <gasps> You're telling me those guys were hiding in the ground? Another team bites the dust, ladies. Oh, and by the way, I know you jokers are out there, so don't even try it. <gasps> If you keep hiding in the bushes like a bunch of Brady cats, I'm gonna kick your asses even harder than I was planning on. And that was pretty damn hard to begin with. Oh no, they're everywhere. I think we should start to worry now. I didn't think we'd have to fight so many of them back to back. There's no time to recover. You girls have nothing to worry about. These guys are about as threatening as a stub toe, so chill. We'll flatten their asses before you know it. Hear that, fellas? Hot shot with the oversized sword thinks we're gonna be an easy mark. <laughs> Wow, amazing! You see? That was totally doable, what I tell you. Now let's put these rejects to bed. Kick his ass already! The fighting at Delta Point has ceased for now. One team has eliminated 14 others so far for a total of 51 participants. No way. It hasn't even been an hour yet. That's impossible. Which team are we talking about here? Team 8, which is nothing but B-classers. It looks like it's their class rep, Kuzuha Demoto, and three other students. It's Kuzuha Demoto, Chikiji Izumi, Miu Osawa, and Akatsuki Osawa. They're all good, but that last one's a certified showstopper. We'll bump him to A-class, but he's really beyond even that. This guy could definitely give the student council a run for their money. Guess this explains why my ears were burning. <laughs> I will be the first to admit that Akatsuki's a highly skilled combatant. But suggesting he's on par with the four of us is to give that grinning delinquent far too much credit. I don't know. Think about it. 
Four of us versus him would be a pretty good fight. Oh, come on! We don't need to gang up. Any one of us could take him out. There's more to Akatsuki than I thought at first. He talks a big game, which led me to believe there was nothing to him but ego. But he has the skill to back up his words. Minami! But, guess you'd know best. I mean, after all that time you guys spent together at the beach. Not fair! I wasn't with him because I wanted to be. No need to get upset. No, just stop it! I've had enough! It's way past time we put Akatsuki in his place once and for all! Listen up, you two. We're going to finish up our work as fast as we can and join the ranking battle tonight. I'm sick and tired of people glorifying Akatsuki, and the sooner we prove them wrong, the better. Lest you've forgotten, we are officers of the Student Council. We maintain order within Babel. If we can't defeat a guy from Class B, what good are we? Ah, uh, could need another bite. Are you sure this is a good idea? Having a fire out in the open like this? The others will know where we are. The others are probably just thankful we haven't gotten around to beating them up and taking their lunches yet. After the show we put on today, I really don't think anyone's gonna come looking for trouble. <laughs> yeah, probably not. We did kick a lot of ass. Now then, time to strip down and have ourselves a good soak. Huh? <laughs> Kuzaha uses her earth magic to whip us up a big tub. Chikaji uses her water magic to fill it up. We toss in some hot rocks to keep it nice and toasty, and bam, open air bath. You wanna bathe with us? This is gonna rock after the sweaty day we all had. I agree with you in theory, but... Peel them off, ladies. This lesbian didn't dig a hole for nothing. Fair enough. You heard her. Girls, make yourselves at home. Uh, wait, you're serious? What's the matter? You don't think I'm gonna peek at your naked bodies, do you? Look, you don't have to worry. I give you my word, I'll be good. Yeah? You really do mean it? I've got a bad feeling about this. The man ain't perfect, but he did give us his word that he'd behave. Day. I figured you wouldn't roll in on my campfire until 12.01 at the earliest. We were gonna wait until tomorrow morning to challenge you, but Haruka got impatient. <coughs> yeah, she couldn't hold herself back. <coughs> Minami, can you not make it sound so sexual? Uh... A thousand pardons, Akatsuki, but could I bother you for a moment of your time? I trust I don't have to explain myself. Of course you don't, <coughs> and lucky for you, I'm a real sucker for an invitation from a pretty girl. Wait a second, you can't fight her by yourself. The others are free to help if you don't think you're up to the task, Akatsuki. Mm, no need to bring him into it. Tomorrow's gonna be a full day of fighting, and the last thing I want is for these lovely girls to get knocked around tonight on account of me. You call that logic? In case you forgot, you have to fight tomorrow, too. We became a team so we could do this together. Just because someone calls you out for a fight doesn't mean you have to face them alone. And you guys, you student council members act like he's got a target on his back all the time. Why do you want to defeat him so badly? Uh, it's because of the things he does. Wait a minute. That look on her face. I know that feeling. He took a little extra from her during swimsuit uh, tag. That's enough! Uh, took a little extra during tag? Uh, gross! Uh, I hope she kicks your butt in the next uh, week, you sleazeball! How'd you like your first taste of the ranking battle? I don't know. Didn't really live up to the hype, I guess. I hoped it'd be tougher, though I got a feeling I may get my wish once the Cocoon Summit wraps up. You don't need to wait for the president. If you're looking for a challenge, I'm sure that the three of us can oblige you. What was that, Hoodoo? We put up a barrier two kilometers across. Basically, it keeps the sound and vibration of us fighting from leaving the area and being a nuisance to anyone around us. We can fight to our heart's content and nobody will interfere with us. Not gonna lie, I dig the way you're setting the stage. Just one question before we rock this out. Is this gonna count towards my ranking exam results or is this battle off the books? Oh, it definitely counts. 
But I doubt that sort of thing should be much of a concern for you guys anymore. No? Look, you and your teammates earned exceedingly high marks during today's portion of the exam. Any way you slice it, you and the others are getting bumped up to A-class. In other words, this loss won't hurt you. Good to know. Looks like old Kyoya and I will be classmates. That should make for some fun. That said, it is kind of a bummer that winning this won't net me anything, but hey, at least I'll be ready when Kyoya finally gets here. No point in looking a gift warm up in the mouth, am I right? <laughs> Making that barrier was a big mistake, Princess. Now that I can whoop up on you without interruption, this battle is as good as over. Such arrogance! Minami! Uesaki! This is my fight! I'll be the one to take him down! Akatsuki Osawa, prepare yourself for defeat! Where'd he go? You miss me? <sighs> Come on, who do you think you're messing with? <clears throat> now I've got you! Huh? <clears throat> He's a good fighter, but as long as we're airborne, the advantage is mine! You ready? Because here it comes! <clears throat> Be a great time to wave the white flag. What the? Why did you interfere? Didn't I tell you both this was my fight to win? Maybe you said something to that effect, but I don't remember agreeing. You're letting your personal feelings get in the way of your responsibility as a student council member when you should be looking at the big picture. This guy is powerful. All there is to it. And you're our vice president, Haruka. What happens if he defeats you? Can you imagine it? Once we're not top of the heap, the order we've worked hard to maintain goes right out the damn window. <laughs> and now? It took three of us to beat him. Isn't that just Akatsuki a... isn't unbeatable. And he's been acting like he is. You said you'd put him in his place. That's all the three of us did right now. We showed a jackass who's boss. Sure, yeah, lesson learned. I figured you three would gang up on me, so it wasn't much of a shock. How was he even conscious? I can put up an anti-magic field when the mood strikes me, you know. Good to know. Since that's the case, I guess we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way, with weapon-based attacks. There are times to worry about the fairness of a fight, but this isn't one of them. Infusing your weapons with magic? I dig it. You're finally starting to take this seriously. In which case, I ain't gonna hold back! Whether you hold back or not, you're going to lose to us either way! doing? Uh, no, this can't be happening. Uh, but it's impossible. Say goodnight, student council. <laughs> Come on, man. I was about to pull off an epic triple KO. What's the big idea, Motoharu? Hey, you know I wouldn't spoil your fun unless it was important, right? We've got a bit of an emergency on our hands. I'm surprised Haruka hasn't already picked up on it. I take it you haven't noticed that little cut on your cheek, Aki? No, but it's just a scratch, so... So it shouldn't have been possible to receive it in the first place, thanks to the barrier over all of Babel that converts physical damage into mental trauma. Yet there it is anyway. Wait, the conversion field is gone? And so far, the faculty members haven't said squat about this rather important development. Something's going down, you guys. Probably something sinister. <laughs> that crashing sound. It came from where Miu was. Uh, Akatsuki, no! Guys, I can't take this anymore. I think... I know. You shouldn't be out there alone. Just to be on the safe side, I vote all three of us go. Best hurry. You knew what I was going to say? Come on, give us a little credit, will you, Miu? We know what that look on your face means. And don't think we're done talking about how you wanted to go alone. We're along for the ride whether you like it or not, so you might as well get used to it. It's not fair for me to drag you into this. Not in the middle of ranking exams. Hey, if you're willing to risk everything to help your brother, we can take the same risk to help you. It is what it is. Because we're a team? No, silly. This is what you call friendship. But for the record, 
can better appreciate this. Your brother's gonna have major bragging rights for the number of girls on his trail. Hey, come on. It's not like we're groupies. We're chasing him to save him from himself. Still, <laughs> I have to admit, I get why all the girls dig him. Wait, what? Don't tell me you don't see it. Come on, he's on the fast track to becoming a legend around here. He faced off with the student council. He handled the berserker cockatrice. That kind of stuff tends to impress some people. Girls want him. Guys want to be him. Yeah, I guess I do see it. No question he's a perfect bastard, sure. But you'd have to be made of stone to hate him. There's just something about that dude. Matter of fact, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm thinking you dig on him more than you like to let on. Uh, what? What is that supposed to mean? Like... Ew! Gross! He's my brother! I don't even begin to look at him that way! Uh, now what? Uh-oh. Ah, excellent. This will be quick work. Who are you? Uh, a Distian paladin? By the almighty power vested in me by the Tripartite Alliance of Alizard, I, Phil Burnett, have come to bring the daughter of Dark Lord Garius back to her homeland. So shall. Oh, no, no, this is nuts. I can't access anything. <laughs> come on. Uh, Sir, Professor Kubota. Where do we stand, guys? The barrier grid went offline approximately 30 minutes ago, sir. We don't know why yet, but the main OS crashed, and we've had a hell of a time recovering it. And the ancillary networks? Uh, it's still running. Right. Let's set up parallel execution bypasses. We'll use them to support the networks that are up. For the time being, I want everyone focused on running the backup smoothly. There's a battle out there, and we need to make sure it goes our way. Let's give it everything we've got. Yes, sir. Unbelievable. Minami, talk to base camp. Have them pinpoint Miu's coordinates using her AD signals. The girls that are with her, too. Base camp, come in. This is appalling. Here they are. Jikichi! Kuza! Oh my goodness, who could have done this to them? Are you okay? I... I don't remember everything. But I know Izumi took the brunt for us. I'm sorry. We... We tried, but he... I want a name and I want it this instant. Who did this to you? I don't know, but he was strong. And I think maybe he was looking for your sister. She ran off to lure him away from us. He might have been from the world the two of you reunited in. She called him something, too. I'm not sure what it meant. She was pretty upset. What were the words? Justian Paladin, I think. You're only prolonging the inevitable. Oh, please. Why bother to struggle? I've got to get some distance between us. I'm sorry, my friends. Please be okay. What's that you're doing to them? First aid. Long story short, I stabilized their chi. Haruka! Uh, yes, sir! Wait, where do you get off yelling at me like that? I advise you to remember your place! Get these girls to the ICU. You're our fastest option at this point. So you bark orders at me and then call me an option? Fine. But I only submit because I agree with you. The keyboard jockeys back at base camp were keeping tabs on the match through our AD signals, right? Have them pull the data from just before things went down and locate the other students who were on the battlefield. We need to get everybody corralled ASAP. Ihara, you're pretty handy with earth magic, aren't you? I'm assuming you can make golems that follow orders? Yes. How many can you conjure with what you find in the forest? I'd say 300 is a fairly decent projection. Good, good. Should be more than enough. Cook them up and order them to shepherd everyone to base camp. The sooner, the better. Uesuke, I need you on this too. Go with her and invoke a flare wherever you guys find somebody who's injured. Make sure you get it high enough for Haruka to see. Hold up, wait a sec. You're gonna go find this guy by yourself? You have a job to do, I have a job to do. Let's just leave it at that. 
I appreciate your enthusiasm, Asawa, but I can't allow you to wander off on your own. You're tired of me pulling rank, I'm well aware, but nonetheless, as Vice President, I must insist. Wow. Call me crazy, but that sounds like concern. Yes, and I will thank you not to read too much into it. It is my duty to keep students out of harm's way. Yeah, well, I'll let those words prop me up while I'm out there. My sister needs me. Osawa! You're not gonna keep me from going. Haven't you learned your lesson by now? <laughs> move. I expect you to take good care of my friends. Insolence. Let's get the other students to safety. And once we've corralled everyone, we will come for you, Osawa, rest assured. All right then, we've got a job to do, people. Here's the breakdown as I see it. I'll carry you both to base camp on my way to the ICU. If we're gonna do things his way, then we're gonna need a hub to operate from effectively. I want us running like a well-oiled machine within the hour. Hello. My dear sir, please step out of my way. We have no business with each other. There's no point in getting oneself involved in another man's game, wouldn't you agree? My quarrel lays with the girl, not you. So in the interest of your good health... Shut up! I'm not doing this for my health. And you're wrong if you think you have no business with me, hotshot. You aren't going anywhere. How unfortunate. I rather hoped it wouldn't have come to this, actually. You do know that since I've deactivated the protections barrier, injuries are probable, yes? You're gonna have to catch me first, douchebag. I accept. <laughs> Tragic. Was that move a last-ditch effort to close the gap between our abilities? Because if so, I don't suspect it will be of much help to you. If you're serious about fighting me, don't expect me to show mercy. Clever. trying to prove you're an idiot tinkering with barometric pressure so that the heat from my spell creates this little hall of mirrors for you very nice very nice indeed forgive me I thought such a delicate maneuver out of your rage <laughs> evidently the cunning little vixen inspires you to outstrip your limitations to hell with that I'm not doing this for her I'm doing it for me I've learned a lot about myself these past few weeks. See, I've always been the kind of guy who thumped his chest, acted like everyone else was lucky to breathe the same air as him. Fact is, though, I'm a coward. I'm afraid of people stronger than me. And because I couldn't stand to be called out on my bullshit, I wound up opening a door for a terrorist. Not an easy thing to live with. It's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. If Osawa hadn't stepped up, things would have been a hell of a lot worse. It's humbling to find out your pettiness could have cost innocent people their lives. Well, that's the old me. I'm not that asshole anymore. I'm done with being afraid of people who are stronger than me. I'm a new man! Boring. <sighs> and here I had you pegged for a stray, when truly you're nothing more than a quivering, broken-down house mutt. Oh well, neither here nor there. At day's end, the howling of one is much like the yelping of the other. Really. Allow me this kindness. Stand down before it's too late. Cheap tricks and sneak attacks will avail you precious little against someone of my caliber. Don't do this to yourself. To hell with you! Thing is, even a mutt has its pride. <laughs> the dog that roared, eh? Such a pity. Agonizing, I'm sure, but not necessarily fatal. Recall this mercy, my friend. Since you only fight to spare some tattered vestige of your wounded pride, t'would be uncouth of me to kill you outright. I hunt only dark clansmen. After all, such is my duty as a human. Hey, 
Get your damn hands off of me. Save the shaman act for your sister. I think she ran off that way. I know, shut up. Stop it. He's after her, you don't have any time. She's in trouble. Quit worrying about me and get out of here. Calm down. I know you're out there. Come out. Damn it. Man, you get your jollies off spoiling my fun, don't you? I was at full camo. How long have you known I was following you? Since forever? What kind of question is that? You've been on me like a shadow from the moment this thing kicked off. Sorry, man. Hate to tell you, but stealth ain't your thing. Dude, seriously? Well, now that's just rude. If stealth ain't my thing, tax sure as hell ain't yours. I mean, jeez. We don't have time for this. Get down here. I need you to take this guy to the ICU. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Such a tease. So much for sneaking a front row seat to your pyrotechnics, I suppose. Oh well, let's get you to the nurse's office, champ. Hey, don't take orders from him. The bastard who did this to me is a total nutcase. Your boyfriend's gonna need you before this is over. Ah, a sense of humor. Dude, shut the hell up. Save your energy. If you die on me, I'm the one in trouble. When the man says jump, you jump. Besides, missions don't get much easier, do they? How pathetic would I come off if I couldn't do this? Right, Aki? Attention all Babel students and faculty members. The facility's primary operating system has sustained serious damage and is currently running at less than 60% due to circumstances beyond our control. For your safety, level 5 emergency protocols have been enacted. Excuse me. This is Ryohei Uesaki speaking, your student council secretary. Due to what you just heard the nice lady talking about, the ranking matches underway are immediately suspended until further notice. That means everybody stop. This is not a hoax. This is not a drill. All combat needs to cease and desist right now. Put down your weapons and hike it to base camp. The details of the attack are a little sketchy at the moment, but it's an extremely complex situation, I can tell you that much. All hands on deck. That's what I call a quick turnaround. Oh, and Osawa. In case you've got designs on hogging the glory, just so you know, we will reel you in if you go too far off the reservation on your own. No man's an island, dude. Remember that. Appreciate the concern, but good luck tracking me down. Adios! This should be far enough to keep everyone out of harm's way. What do you mean? Spirit magic provides a method for divining one's path in life. We use it here as a means of running background checks on new recruits. Something robbed you of your happiness. In a land called Alizard, everything you knew and loved was cruelly destroyed. Life as you once understood it changed and now follows a downward spiral. Wherever you tread, the cruel specter of isolation shadows every footfall. Enemies shadow that specter. And friends give you a wide berth. I'm sorry. Not a particularly uplifting fortune, it would seem. For what it's worth, I strongly advise against expecting too much of your allies. I've weathered more than my share of assassination attempts. What is it about this one that's got me so scared? Have we? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Phil Burnett. On behalf of the Tripartite Alliance of Alizard, I have come here to retrieve the heir and daughter of fallen Dark Lord Garius, and so be a hero. You wear the emblem of the Dizdia Empire. I do. It was bestowed upon me by my rescuers, upon my untimely summons to your world. Oh yes, I'm native to this world. Born, but not bred. I don't care where you're from! All I care about is the fact that you think you're going to take me back! That's right, my lady. Indeed I am. Nonsense! That's impossible! No one who returns to their homeworld can cross back to Alizard, and the other world gate is not open for my kind! Listen to yourself, child. Does that not fly in the face of your experience? The universe is mysterious. The Otherworld Gate especially so. 
Thus do you stand before me now. Perhaps your beloved rogue hero has a special talent. Perhaps I, being a hero, have something similar. Heroes move between worlds. How else could this conversation we're having even be possible? I don't know. Did you really think there would be lasting refuge for you in this world? You, the scion of a dark lord? What would possess a lady with your herald to believe, even for a moment, that she could live out her days free from care? Or was this simply a lark? Your words twist everything around! I will not listen to you! Back home in Alizard, you will be given a public execution. Despite your father's demise, many of his clansmen continue to resist. So it shall always be. Unless, of course, his bloodline is extinguished. That might stay them. Can you not let go of your life, knowing that your sacrifice will secure peace? Do you hear yourself? What's the advantage to killing me there as opposed to doing it now? A public execution in Alizard would serve no purpose! Don't talk to me of securing peace, I see through you! There's only one possible reason for doing things your way! Oh yes, I know! You would use me as bait! You would lure the Dark Clan to my rescue and slaughter them like cattle! The only peace you want is the peace of genocide! My, my, you are a clever shrew, aren't you? It is a harsh reality, I realize, but... Does it really change the bigger picture? What precisely are you in a position to do? Your options are limited. Be content with the peace your life will bring, even if your clansmen won't be around to witness it. No! I'd sooner die right now than allow that! Oh, and on the off chance you're thinking of ending your fight here, know that if you die in this world, by your own hand, I'll kill your friends. Coward! And you call yourself a hero! You sicken me! Says the spoiled brat who curried favor with Daddy's murderer to save her own skin. Kindly excuse your insult if it has difficulty hitting the mark, you rank traitorous whore! <laughs> How dare you! I will kill you for those words if it's the last thing I do! You bastard! Take it back right now! Dear me, did I expose an uncomfortable truth? So sorry. What are you doing? How was he persuaded to be your rescuer? His passion for young maidens is well known. Yet his interest in you is, to those of us on the outside, more than a trifle perplexing. I am intrigued to find out what magnificent charms you command. Oh, don't discriminate now. You might charm me. Who knows, maybe I'll be impressed enough to let you live a bit longer. No, stop! Still clawing for a way around this, are you? You dear, sweet, deluded girl. I don't believe you fully grasp the finality of your situation. You are the issue of a fallen Dark Lord. Were I suddenly dealt out of your sad fate, there would be a long line of men cut from the same cloth waiting to be your executioner. Will you fend them off forever? But I'm here for you either way. Just know that. If you ever need to cry but the tears won't come, I can make it so they do. And nobody else can do that for you right now, not even yourself. The longer you live, the more people will perish, both here and in Alizard. Please, no! <laughs> bad move. Real bad. A pretty young thing crying on a beautiful moonlit night like this? That's when I step in. Understand this. You heard her... Ah, ah, ah. Nice outfit. Off the rack, or what? I happened to cross some very generous donors. My lucky day, really. Oh yeah, and who helped you take down the barrier? Barrier? Oh yes, that. No one more dumb luck. The brat responsible did it of his own volition. Coincidence. Though I'm the first to admit I could not have planned it better. Mercenary heaven. One scarcely moves two feet in this place without stumbling on someone useful. What did you do? They resisted at first, as people do. But they had no hope in the end. Not with all that I have learned in Alizard. You bastard! Oh dear! Is my predecessor troubled? Come! Surely you're not angry! The irony? Here we are both born of the same native soil, yet you fight to protect her! Daughter of a Dark Lord killed by you lands away. And why? We're the balance of each other, really. Our fulcrum point, the girl. 
Ask yourself, is she really worth defending to the death? Worth killing a veritable kinsman over? None of that crap matters. And don't even try to talk to me like the fact we're both from here means a damn thing, because it doesn't. Get this, I never ignore a girl's tears, ever. It's my thing, my aesthetic. So's decorating the ground with the insides of bastards like you. Is that a fact? Well, I'll make it a point of beating you to the punch. Thus is my aesthetic. Enough of this! You disappoint me. Come on, step up. You can do so much better. You mean like this? Not as easy as you thought it was gonna be. Linked energy manipulation. I applaud your level of mastery. Still, without proper magic, I feel your chances in this fight are negligible. Block this with your chi! <laughs> Good reason for turning my back on Hocus Pocus to study energy manipulation, dude. See, it's hands down the best way for making anti-magic barriers with whatever's around. If I use it on me, I can make my body a shield against you. Comes in a hell of a lot handier than relying on spells to do the heavy lifting. For example, I can do stuff like this. Tell me what you think. You're a light magic wielder? This ain't magic. It's an energy bomb. And it doesn't feel good, I promise. You might want to find some cover. And he's toast. Dude, you totally used an anti-magic barrier, didn't you? Don't you listen? I told you it wasn't magic. I gotta hand it to you, though. You took it like a champ. Was that energy? Dear, oh dear. It seems I've underestimated you. <laughs> to think you'd go to such lengths for a Dark Lord's issue. Queen Listy will be heartbroken, I fear. Excuse me? She's not far from it even now. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Bullshit. What the hell have you done to her? Oh, to her majesty? Nothing directly. Just an impish bit of vandalism, one might say. The grave of Leon Asperio is now so much rubble. <laughs> Even in death, the man whose end you brought about stymied my claim to the title hero. Your own glory is too disputed to threaten my aspirations in any real way. Gallant Leon, however, he persisted in thwarting me from beyond the grave. His glory lived on after him. His grave was a blight on my attempts to win a share of it for myself, an atrocity. You destroyed another man's grave? What is wrong with you? Now, now. All is not lost. I'm sure Shellfeed has puzzled me out as the culprit. Justice will no doubt be served. Of course, should I succeed in disposing of you and dragging your little whore back to Alizard, my reputation will far outstrip any character assassination they throw at me. In the end, a good name is all that really matters, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Is a good name worth dying over? You are incredibly fast. Alas. <laughs> as you can clearly see, a gift for speed is something I happen to possess as well. Now then, if you would be so kind as to drop your weapon. Did you not hear me? Drop your weapon. That's more like it. I much prefer you disarmed. Oh, and... The A.D. will have to go as well. Don't want any more toys appearing out of thin air, do we? Somebody's informed? Another piece of intelligence I owe to your generous classmates. For whatever the consolation may be to you, your death, like hers, will signal an end to Alizard's strife. You mean once its enemies are out of the way, Dizdia will be free to do with Alizard whatever it wants? Perhaps. 
But honestly, the political machinations interest me very little. My first and only real concern is attaining my rightful title. What about your native soil? You just gonna live out the rest of your days in Alazar? Is that so wrong? You can't blame me, can you? You know what this world holds in store for people like us. Look around you. The quarantine, the compulsory training, the militant idealism driven by threadbare cliches of the worst kind. And the only thing that baffles me more than those who accept a life of subservience is the ignorance of those who think to sway their wardens through terrorism. Better to live in any world but this. For the record, I see your point. Matter of fact, I agree. No doubt this world is an insane mess. Still, I have what you might call unfinished business with it. I'm not ready to turn my back on her just yet. That is a shame. I totally get why you see people like me and Leon as obstacles to your life's ambition. Trouble is, I'm not really feeling you on why you've got to kill her. Oh, it's quite simple, really. You see, if I'm truly to surpass you, there's a crucial step I daren't ignore. Something every hero requires. A new Dark Lord to vanquish. Being of the proper bloodline, this little darling fits the bill. That's the only reason. No more, no less. <laughs> What do you find so amusing? I'm laughing because I expect it to be thrown for a loop. Dude, please, after all the big talk, that's what makes you tick? What a disappointment. I figured you'd be in this for a better reason than petty jealousy. I saw it coming from a mile away. You're all the same. Truth is, you're just a peon who thinks pushing people around will give him the right to call himself a hero. <laughs> Impossible! Too bad, so sad, Chief. I know you don't want to accept it, but energy manipulation trumps magic at every turn. It's called being at home in your own skin, not something learning an incantation by heart can teach. You're not supposed to run away from me. Do you mind telling me what the big deal is? I'm sorry. Huh? I don't belong here anymore. I don't belong anywhere. Excuse me? What are you talking about? <laughs> Listen, this whole thing is between me and Alizard. I'm sorry, but as long as I'm alive, the people I love are in danger. I'm the daughter of a Dark Lord. That's all there is to it. If I stay here, People like him will just keep coming for me. If I go back home, the simple fact of my existence will guarantee that everyone goes on killing each other. There's no other way out of this mess. Hey, wait a minute. I have nowhere to go. Please understand. Forgive me. When he awakens, tell the mercenary what's become of me. That will be an end to it. Let it be done. Smarmy bastard's gibberish get to you like that? He's right. What would you have done in my position? You want me to keep dragging our friends into this? You want the people of this world to suffer because of me? Animals like him are never going to give up the hunt. They won't rest until I'm hauled back to Alizar. Don't you get it? I have to die. By living, I bring ruin to my world and yours. I don't want to be the reason people perish. Sacrificing myself is the only decent thing to do. Are you done? As far as I'm concerned, death is the easy way out. It's not a solution, it's you being a spoiled little princess. Hell of a lot simpler to just walk off a cliff than turn around and fight like the people you love deserve, right? 
You think dear old dad just threw himself on my sword? You think the man just handed you off without making me prove myself? Or that he didn't care what would happen to his only daughter? Answer me! Or, or better yet, keep that trap shut and think about the fact that he let himself be killed to give you a better life. <laughs> Either way, he sure as hell didn't think that you dying was the best option. You hear me? If you even think about killing yourself, you're insulting his memory. And I'll never let you sink that low. Don't you get it? You're his validation, his survival. The legacy of an indomitable soul written in flesh and blood. You could have died trying to rescue me. If your chi had been even the tiniest bit weaker, that monster would have had you and there was nothing I could have done about it. I don't die. I mean, come on, it's me we're talking about. He didn't have a chance. I could have beaten him with my eyes closed. Yeah? And what about the next guy who comes after me? What happens when he turns out to be stronger than you? No, I won't let you. Dying isn't the easy way out, it's the only way out! You know that isn't true. That's the monster talking. Besides, think about it, who says you have to have a way out? Stick around and fight for the people you love. I can't. I get it, okay, really. Fine, I'll do the fighting for both of us. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, that's what I'm here for. If this mess is anyone's fault, it's mine for bringing you here at all. If I'd have known this would come to you jumping off a cliff, I'd have told your father to suck it and left your ass in Alizar. What I'm trying to say, I guess, is that none of this is your fault. It's not that black and white, okay? I killed him. And I brought you here, so it's my place to fight for you, which is what your father wanted in the first place. This is the path I chose for myself, and I'm not gonna let anyone knock me off it. Not even you, sweetheart, so you might as well give it up. You chose this too. You're the one who reached up and took my hand. Have a little faith in me. Have faith in your dad's vision. Hell, in yourself. You're not alone here, so get that through your thick skull. We're in this thing together, you and I. Get away from me! Stop being so nice! Nothing about your attitude makes sense! Why can't you just forget about me and get on with your life? It'd be so much easier! Just stop acting like my guardian and leave me alone! Not used to being treated with loving kindness, huh? You said earlier that you don't belong anywhere. Personally, I know that's a bunch of crap, but bear with me a sec and we'll break it down for the sake of argument. If you ask me, the whole idea that you need to belong anywhere is bunk. See, you're thinking in terms of a place, a physical place, like Alizard or here, and that's misleading. It's not about where, it's about with who. In your case, the who happens to be me. <laughs> Listen, if you ever need a reminder, just look into my eyes, and you'll know where home is. And hey, if the nice guy part confuses you, I can always be a jerk. Easy peasy. What, what are you doing? What do you think? I'm trying to reinforce today's lesson with a little sensory augmentation. Well, cut it out already. Ha, <laughs> the mouth on you. Let's give it something better to do. Brace yourself, sweet cheeks. He's right. Maybe this is home. Come on, how you doing? You okay? Um, yeah. Listen, are you... Are you absolutely sure about this? Huh? About what? Come on, you know what I mean. All the drama, the trouble that's bound to follow us from now until the day we die. You think I can't deal with it? You, trust me, as far as I'm concerned, your old man's legacy wasn't a curse. It was luck. <laughs> well, we probably ought to be heading back right about now. Izumi and the others will be worried, and I've got me a mercenary to interrogate, so... <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? <laughs> he poisoned you. It's all right. I just need to lay down. Nothing my body hasn't dealt with before. Don't be a moron, that's not how it works. Come on, don't do this. Stay with me. Oh no, his body temperature is dropping. Okay, you jerk. It's my turn to help you. His clothes are drenched. 
He'll freeze if he stays like this. one, huh? Whew. Good job getting the poison out. Glad you're on top of things. second of it. I had to keep the poison from spreading to the rest of my body, right? You kind of need to be awake and focused to manipulate your chi. Hey, don't get all ticked. I told you I could handle it. I've been poisoned hundreds of times. Not that I don't appreciate you trying to help. You're a terrible person. Maybe you can take it easy while someone's going through whatever that was. But I'm not as callous as you are. Ugh, you're heartless, exploiting my sympathy to compromise my virtue before I knew what was happening. Look, I'm sorry. I'm not made of stone, you know. There's only so much cute I can take. Forgive me. Why am I falling for this? Now then, let's get going, huh? Uh-uh. Your body isn't ready for a hike. Gotta stay on the move. Poison will get its hooks into me again if I don't. Hey, I'm gonna be fine. The trick now is to stay on the old feet, walk it off. I don't buy it. You need to sit down and rest before you even think about going anywhere. Really wish I could. Time's just not on our side right now. Uh, I really let my guard down. In my defense, it's not every day you meet someone who can wield such power barehanded. Or who can survive a venom designed to fell a man instantly. You're almost inhuman, aren't you? Funny, I was gonna say the same to you. I wasn't at full power back there, but still. Your energy flow should be all over the map right now. I'm amazed you can stand. I'm kind of amazed you're even conscious. Impressive stuff, man. Respect. Yes, well, if you're impressed now, just you wait. I was hoping not to resort to this, but... It would appear you've left me precious little in the way of options. <laughs> They said it's an emergency. Still no luck. I keep trying, but I just can't reach Kyoya. 
We can't wait any longer. I thought we could at least fill him in on the situation here, but I guess not. Speaking of which, how are things coming together in the control room? That repair work needs to be completed as soon as possible. They're 60% of the way through getting the shield back online. They're going much faster than we had expected them to, but no matter. We must act whether it's on or not. Where is it coming from? Over there. Whatever it is, it must be huge. Man, you've got to be kidding me. How did that little chump ever forge a pact in Alizard with an evil dragon the likes of Zahak? Zahak exists on a plane beyond that of humanity. That paladin couldn't have formed a pact with it. I guess I should be impressed that he pulled off the impossible. <laughs> Maybe after I beat him. No, wait! You can't seriously be thinking of fighting right now. You're still weakened from the poison! Yeah, I'm aware of that. But he's not gonna sit back and wait for me to feel better. I'll clean his clock somehow. Akatsuki, listen to me. You're the only person in this world who has a chance of beating him. But you're going to need all your strength to do it. And that means that I'm going to serve as your decoy. Uh, I'll keep him distracted as long as I can. Once you've recovered, then you take over. Mew, that's crazy talk. You can't fight him. Uh, Stupid poison. Join me as soon as you're better, okay? Don't make me wait too long. I'm the one you came here to kill. So, come and get me! Listen up. Crazy reports are coming in for base camp. Something about a huge dragon appearing in the mountains. They say it's taken to the air and it's headed straight for the urban training district. A dragon? What the hell's going on out there? Don't lose focus. The more we know, the safer the kids are. I hope you're up to this fight, Akatsuki. Hell of a lot's riding on it. <laughs> Sorry I dragged you into this. If you think I'd let you go it alone, then you don't know me very well at all, Miu. Is that a Kotsky? I see. So your sister's fighting even as we speak. Yeah. That stuff he poisoned you with, will it go away on its own or do you need an antidote? Neither. See, I've cranked up my metabolism. It's like a cheat code that allows me to process this crap. Energy manipulation comes in handy again. The moment I'm feeling back to normal, I'm kicking his scaly ass. I'm glad to hear that. But in the meantime... <sighs> Let me guess. You want in on the decoy thing. Look, you are a little badass. But how can I send a kid to do my job for me? Two of us out there is better than one. Miu's odds of survival go up this way. You know, girl, not to one up you, but three of us would be better than two. As you were leaving my hospital room, you had this look in your eyes like you were going to do something foolish and way outside your pay grade. So I got out of bed and followed you here. Izumi. Your sister's damn hot, and she's a good friend. If she needs help, count me in. What is with you chicks tonight? I hate to break it to you, buddy, but we already made up our minds that we're going to help me you. That said, would it really kill you to give us a little vote of confidence? Damn it all. Fine, knock yourselves out. But don't do anything especially dangerous, or so help me I will spank the both of you. And that goes double for you, short stuff. Do I make myself clear? Yes, we'll be careful. Let's hop on, Izumi. Right. Aw, oh, come on. She gets a ride and I have to walk to the dragon? You're still poisoned. You said so yourself. How long will it take for you to process what's left? I don't know, but I'm practically better. You need better. to give me a number, Akatsuki. We need to know exactly how long we have to hold out before you'll be battle ready. I guess you have a point. That's enough! Just as I 
a trap! Run for cover! Too little, too late. What just happened? Uh. Oh no, please! How does it feel, wench? Having victory well within your grasp, only to have it yanked away at the final moment. Now then, you've had your fun. It's high time we return to Alizard. This isn't over. I'll never surrender to someone like you. I admire your resolve. Even after subjecting your friends and a school full of people with whom I had no quarrel to my deadly wrath, you deny me. Shall I end more lives then until your attitude grows more tractable? Or will you come quietly? What will it be, Dark One? You have chosen wisely. Go to your doom knowing that your sacrifice preserves the world in which you tried to find refuge. Why did you fight me? You could not win. No, maybe I couldn't. But I don't care. I had to try either way. Ever since my father died, I've been running away. Running from the pain of losing him, and from my birthright. But then I stopped running, thanks to Akatsuki. Your hubris is laughable. What could that meddling fraud possibly have said to buoy your spirit? You have no right to speak ill of him. For all his faults, he's more of a hero than you could ever hope to be. He's genuine, and he's brave, and he doesn't care what people think of him. Even if you drag me back to Alizard, and hang me from the highest tower, you will never be a hero the way Akatsuki is. You're nothing but a sham, a faker with ashes in your heart. Know this, no matter how much the people may praise you, you're nothing but a thug with a sword. When a warrior risks life and limb to do battle with a Dark Lord, only then will they be deemed a hero. It is an honor they bestow upon valiant foes, foes like Akatsuki. But you, I'll never acknowledge you as a hero, no matter what sort of pain you put me through. Akatsuki Osawa is all the hero I need. Next to him, you're nothing. Strange how you heap praise upon your father's killer. If he is indeed a hero, why have you not slain him? I thought a Dark Lord would exhibit more loyalty to her kind. It's true that I'm the child of a Dark Lord, but my father was the last. The people of Alizar don't have to live in fear anymore. I don't want to follow in my father's footsteps. I'm giving up on all that. I just want to stay here with Akatsuki and live like any other high school girl. Why isn't that good enough? Why do you have to drag me back? Do you think you can abandon your past so easily? I never said it would be easy, but I've made my choice. Your logic is that of a soft-minded child. If you are no Dark Lord, then you cannot deem him a hero, no matter how much you may whine to the contrary. You may be right. But I don't care about the technicalities. He's a hero to me, and that's all that matters. Even if no one else sees it. He's my knight in shining armor. And the words don't exist that'll change my mind. In that case, I suppose there's nothing more to say. You're gonna take me back to Alizard here and now? To he who has forged a pact with a dragon, such a task is simple. I can't wait to watch you die. Talk of Akatsuki's heroism dying on your lips. As your soul spirals into the darkness, you'll finally realize that neither your world nor this one holds any place for you. I don't belong in either world, I know that, but I don't care anymore. Because when I'm with him, when I'm with Akatsuki Osawa, I'm in the right place for the first time. I've had enough of your inane blathering. <laughs> and get to safety. You fought my battle for long enough. Please, 
be careful. Don't worry. Your father didn't make a mistake when he entrusted you to me. I'm not going to let you down, Mew. How disappointing! I was rather hoping you'd follow us back and I'd get the chance to cut you open in front of Queen Listy herself. The look on her face would have been priceless. But no matter. Killing you right here will more than suffice. <laughs> is starting to take effect. So what if my hits didn't take any of the oomph out of you? It looks like my energy made its way into your body just fine. You like that? Don't delude yourself into thinking your attacks are equal to mine. Mine are better, as you're about to see. Bring it on! I'm gonna deflect your attack so hard it'll knock your damn teeth out. Too bad, huh? Except that it's stupid, though that word's a tad harsh. Reckless might be better, more my style. Anyway, point is, this ain't about odds. It's about doing what I gotta do despite them. Sorry, babe. Damn you! A little faith goes a long way, you know. Times like these, someone believing in me tends to be worth its weight in gold. 
Besides, if you're only gonna put stock in something when it's a sure thing, that's not really faith, is it? Kind of the opposite, actually. <laughs> Please. What I need from you more than anything is confidence. I realize on the surface things look bad, but it all really boils down to trusting your instincts about me. You have to believe the guy fighting for your life has got a chance. Don't you know it's a girl's prerogative to have faith and be worried sick at the same time? Just try not to get yourself killed. Osawa! What's it gonna take for you to learn you can't stop me? Come on, VP. Oh, shut up. I have no intention of trying to stop you, Barbarian. Here, take it. Consider it my token contribution. Thank you. Make peace with your fate, I presume. I guess. You make peace with yours? Let's do this. This is the hero we've heard so much about? Well, I give his little display credit for relieving the tedium of this gathering, at least. Quite. It's not every person who can take on a higher life form like that without the luxury of magic. He has considerable skill, that much is plain. I am reasonably, if cautiously, impressed. Higher life form? His adversary was a charlatan bound by the physical laws of this universe. I concede the title in this case. The creature in question was more of a parasite, one appropriately left for an amateur to deal with. In a word, trivial. The higher life form we seek would not be so easily beaten by this non-entity. Precisely. As we speak, Towers of Babel the world over are working to equalize the subterranean veins. Two are on the verge of completion. When construction is finished, Project Y will enter its final phase. 
Let us hope you are all prepared for that day. What of Crimson Twilight? Do we have leave to neutralize them? If you wish. In point of fact, you have expressed permission to deal with, as you see fit, anyone you deem a threat. However, you will leave their leader to me. Do what you will to his lackeys, I don't care. Kill him, and you answer to me. A creature by rights impermeable to the antics of lower forms destroyed. A being entangled with this world's laws only in so far as it pulls the strings. To think an opportunity would present itself so suddenly. Ikami. Yes, Michael. I'm baffled that you left this problem to someone else. Fraud or no, the parasite was enormously powerful. You knew this. A direct hit in your tower would have been a dollhouse in a hurricane. Yet you chose to step down and allow the hero to soar in on a wing and a prayer. Had he failed, the plan would have suffered. I do not deny it. The light of Babel could have obliterated the creature in an instant. Except, everything within a three-kilometer radius would have been collateral damage. There were students still within the vicinity, including three who served with me on the council board. I could not in good conscience condemn them. You know your conscience is of no concern to the project. Sacrifices are sometimes called for. Personal feelings cannot be allowed to take precedence. You would certainly know better than I. Your little brother was one such sacrifice. This blows. I was itching to go mano a mano with Kyoya. Ah, figured you'd be up here. Whatever you did, the VP is on the warpath. She's moving heaven and earth to find you. People are getting scared. Oh, yeah. She probably wants her wristband thingy back. <laughs> Not that you'd be interested, but they posted everyone's rank. You seen yours yet? Wait, what? How's that possible? I thought the whole thing was canceled after day two. I think they just went off of everyone's scores up to the system crash. Seems fair enough to me, I guess. I wouldn't raise a stink about it if I were you. Whatever their model, you and the gals won first place. No kidding. Huh. What about you? Meh. I didn't bomb it, but you know. Yeah, well, I guess that's what happens when you spend the whole exam tailing one guy. Hey, whatever, big shot. And I guess we're not counting me schlepping Onizuka to the ICU. I'd have been on top of things except for that. Sorry I couldn't help you do more. You're so full of it. Like, I don't know whose fancy footwork it was that played havoc with the dragon. Those chains had your name all over them. Holy crap, I'm getting tired of being so obvious. And I didn't mean to crowd your moment, dude. It's just keeping things covert isn't my strong suit. Hey, no hard feelings, right? It's all right. I'd have finished him with or without the assistance. <laughs> oh, strength, looks, and humility. Tell me something. When you say you were trying not to crowd my moment, you mean because you figured the dragon was my problem, right? What if it hadn't been? Would you have stepped up? <laughs> I'm a lot of things, brother, but badass dragon slayer ain't one of them. If it horns in on the tranquility of me time, my policy is to avoid it like the plague. Besides, I told you, I don't take up arms when the outcome is set. That kind of stuff is about as far from my style as you can get. Anyway, peace out. What do I owe the pleasure, Captain? You never call me. Yeah, that'd be the understatement of the year. A crazy son of a bitch cut a higher life form the size of a freighter in two without using magic. Shame he and Kyoya didn't get to fight. It would have been epic. Trust me, though, the dude isn't going to want to join us. Pretty sure of that. Huh? Sure, why not? It's been a breeze keeping an eye on him so far. Understood. Till twilight heralds nightfall. Well, huh. Things are finally starting to get a little interesting. Am I given to understand, Lord Baron, that you knew full well this man was contracted to a dragon, and that you personally recommended him to our alliance without a word of warning thereof? This is absolutely unforgivable! Explain yourself! We're dealing with the daughter of a dark lord. Surely fighting fire with fire is permissible under the circumstances. 
We will not be persuaded by such threadbare attempts to justify your ulterior motives. May I ask what precisely bothers you about the enlistment of Zahak's aid, Your Majesty? What does it matter if the Dragon of Woe carries out our justice for us so long as it is done for the greater good? This moral quibbling is absurd. The high road leads nowhere if we fear to move. Pray continue. How might the actions of your man, for good or ill, be judged by the light of day? By their results, of course. What else? History is written by the side that triumphs. Should Burnett return to us with the girl in his possession, it will be an easy business to raise him up. Whatever his deeds, a hero lends himself well to propaganda. I agree with your shrewd assessment of the matter, Lord Baron. I would add a caveat to that, however. It can only serve to deepen our plight should he not return with the Dark Lord's daughter. Then here is our remedy. I shall take full responsibility for the moral oversight should our hero be proven lacking. Will this suffice, Your Majesty? What is it? We're discussing matters of great import here. Our apologies. We've ill tidings. Very ill. My lady, word has just traveled down to us from the Black Mountain. The fell creatures residing there have declared war on each other. The balance has shifted. Your seers believe the death of Zahak has nullified their truce. He was the mountain's master. As it seems, his place knows him no more. All is chaos. Impossible! If the results of our inquiry strike you as questionable, I suggest you conduct your own investigation. Damn your eyes! I say Phil and Zahak cannot have been defeated! And if they have, Lord Barum, what then? I am inclined to accept the news given us, and I think that we must move on and address your imprudence. First, there is the unsettling matter of your malicious remarks concerning our young hero, Okatsuki. Will you recant? Okatsuki. I've further dark news to lay at your feet, Your Majesty. According to our finest intelligence, the Dizdian forces stationed at the border have been wiped out. Reports say they and the Shellfeed army were descended upon by thralls of the Dark Clan. Thank you, Slaithmere. You really came through for us both at the moment of truth. And you! Aren't you worried about catching a cold? I fell for this once before. I know you're not asleep, right? Whatever. 36th Cavalry is ready to depart! Two armed soldiers! Just so you know, I still mean what I said that day. If you ever need me for anything, call me and I'm there. All I'm asking for is a little good faith. Akatsuki. Guess it's time to get a move on. So, yeah. This might be a teensy bit difficult to explain. Um, in your shoes... I'd be kind of curious about the big blow-up during the ranking matches and all, too. And, you know, about who I really am. Ah! Oh, good. They're squishy. Sorry, you were starting to act kind of wooden there. I needed to fondle these puppies to get a sense of your emotional state. Wound up getting a little wooden myself. What is wrong with you? I'm trying to be serious here! Ugh. Boobs are squishy regardless of emotional state, moron! How about that? Your posture's improved. What? Look, I realize coming clean isn't easy for you, but Izumi and Kuzaha aren't exactly gobsmacked by what they've seen so far. Worth bearing in mind. Oh. I'm sorry. It's just... Aw, oh, come on, sweets. At this point, we're in for the long haul, so no worries, yeah? Whatever you've got to say, we're here to listen. Just take your time. There's, like, zero pressure. You're among friends here. Not that we're not pleased you brought us here, Osawa, but it's probably best if you wait outside while we talk. Sometimes it's easier for a girl to get important stuff off her chest when there's not a guy in the room fondling it. Okay. No problem, ladies. I'm out of here. Okay, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that a girl, Mew. Get it out of your system. Right, gang, listen up. 
I have to book it to some unfinished business quite a ways off from here. May take a while. Although I guess from your point of view, I'll only be gone for a moment. What does that mean? Hold on a sec. You don't mean there! Alisard, yeah. I have to nip this whole thing in the bud before they send someone else. Not to worry you, but the fact they tracked you down so quickly makes me think somebody meant for me to bring you here. I don't understand. The smart money says there's trouble brewing over there in a major way. I need to figure out what's going down. You coming with? No, seriously? <laughs> All right, then. do I hope to accomplish? He's going to think I'm... Hey, 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 so, fancy meeting you here. Ah! <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that! Why in heaven's name are you here? You know, I could ask a certain vice pres the same thing, except I wouldn't shriek it at her. I'm sorry. I've simply come to hand something off as a favor to Professor Kubita, nothing more. Out of curiosity, how long have you been here? Oh, just walked up. Never mind, then. I was just wondering. Funny that we showed up at the same time. Yeah. Actually, I've been chilling in the tree for an hour. <laughs> you were <laughs> spying on me? To what purpose? Hey, now. I'd have said something, but you were acting so weird, I wasn't really sure how to break the ice. Oh, my God. Well, at least have the tact to pretend you didn't see me acting all strangely. Uh, is that... That's a dimensional shift. Uh, of course it is. Uh, away from me! Good. Nice, deep breaths. Form a picture of Alizard in your mind, and hold it. That's the way. Stop this instant! Just what do you think you're doing? Oh, it's the VP. And Motoharu? Yo, appreciate you coming to see us off. Catch you later. <laughs> 